Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today's video is sponsored by me. It's sponsored by my merch. Yay! Did you guys know that I have warm, cozy sweaters like this Peace Love Wi-Fi sweater? Nope. No? Well, how about, did you know that it also comes in a shirt? Nope. You didn't know that either? What about, one second. Did you know about my Robbie Epic Sauce cartoon t-shirt? Nope. nope. No? What? How about, uh, how about this off dad t-shirt? What? You don't like profanity? Then I have a better option for you then. How about this pizza shirt? Th this seems pretty cool, right? Nope. Oh, you want more pizza t-shirts? I got more. Oh man, now that's what I'm talking about. The Robbie all over pizza pizza. <laughs> This is the shirt that I wear in every single video. It's my Pizza Pixel shirt. This is actually part of my merch, if you guys didn't know that. And I got one more for you guys. Isn't that so cute? And one more thing while I still have you here. I also sell stickers! Anyway, link to all the stuff down description down below. I'm gonna continue with the actual video now. I will see you guys in a sec. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Robbie, and today we're gonna be doing a bunch of fun, delicious cooking hacks. Wait, what is this video even called? 20 Crazy But Delicious Cooking Hacks by 5 Minute Crafts. Let's do this! I should really learn how to actually play guitar sometime. Okay, so this one's a little bit of a doozy. I don't have a mixing bowl, so I'm just gonna use this pot that I have. Here's the heavy whipping cream. And the only activated charcoal I could find was in this pill form. It's gonna be a little bit weird because they're in capsules, so I have to bust them open. <laughs> and then of course, we can't forget our sugar. I don't have one of those fancy automatic blending whiskers like they have in the video, but I have a regular whisk and a drill. So maybe I could make something work out of this. Okay, maybe put that, no. Oh, I have an idea. Holy sh It broke my saw. I just gotta fix this really quick. Great, now I'm getting metal shards everywhere. There we go. Don't need that anymore. Will that fit in here now? Aha! I did it! Yeah, I think that'll do. Wipe away all the metal shards. We go ahead and add our heavy whipping cream. They didn't say exactly how much to add. Same thing with the sugar. I don't exactly know how much to add to this, but I guess I'll just put a fuck ton because sugar is delicious and awful for you. Wow, that is very heavy cream. Now we're gonna bust open some capsules, I guess. This is so odd. What even is this stuff? It literally doesn't taste like anything. This bottle was also very expensive. This was like $8. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to add, but I think this should be enough. Okay, now it's time for us to try our contract. It's working pretty good. Oh man, please don't get everywhere. Yeah, I definitely don't think that this is enough charcoal. A few more pallets. Give us a little mix. Okay, it still doesn't look as dark as the video, so we're gonna go ahead and add even more activated charcoal. My hands are getting so dark. What does activated charcoal even do? Is this like safe to eat? Okay, now it's time for the scary part. Okay. This stuff literally has a warning label on it not to touch it. You know how hard this shit is to find? I had to go to four different stores just to find dry ice. Apparently you're supposed to crumble it up. I'm kind of scared of this stuff. We'll get a scoop of this and put it in there. Oh man, it's boiling. Oh wow, what even is going on with this? Like how would you even measure this? Now we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. What even is going on here? It looks like I'm making fucking magic. It's like a boiling cauldron or something. This is getting everywhere. Can you die by eating dry ice? This is definitely looking a lot like ice cream now. I'm gonna go ahead and Google really quick and see if you can eat dry ice. Making ice cream with dry ice. Oh, so this is actually a thing. Okay, so after this, it says I'm supposed to put it in the freezer and let it sit for a sec. And uh, into the freezer you go. Now I gotta worry about this mess. Perfect, we're all good. Okay, scary ice cream. I hope you're all done. Oh God. Okay. Stay. Okay, hopefully this isn't dangerous anymore. Wow, it's almost like normal ice cream. I am great at scooping ice cream, I'll tell you what. Comparison test, this is theirs and this is mine. Okay, now uh, let's see how it tastes. Okay, this looks pretty good. That's actually pretty good. This is some of the best ice cream I've actually ever had. I don't think I've ever had fresh ice cream like this before. Tori, get down here and try some of this delicious cream. Oh my God, Robbie. I know, I got you it You got it everywhere. I know. Is it Tori Debranski approved? It is Tori Debranski approved. Woo!
Okay, so for this craft, uh, we're gonna need a candle and some cinnamon sticks. Also a hot glue gun because five minute crafts, they love hot glue guns. This is gonna be such a scary prank. I wonder if this helps the candle smell better. I don't know what the heck the point of this is. I'm not complaining. Compared to the other ones, this is so much easier. And there we go. We have ourselves a fancy cinnamon candle. Very cinnamony. What even is cinnamon? That doesn't taste like regular cinnamon. It tastes more like wood. Okay, now time to prank Tori with this. Whoa! You've been pranked with this candle! The sweet smelling candle! <laughs> oh, I'm so... Oh, oh shit! Are you scared of this I'm candle? I'm so scared! Fire. Is that it? This is it. This is the prank. Isn't it a good prank? It smells real fucking good. If you take it off and take a bite, it literally tastes like wood. Don't! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have to let Tori. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like the first thing that they did to make these egg noodles was put a couple eggs in there. It's okay that that one's broken because we're making scrambled eggs anyway. Mix, 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 mix. Gotta mix it to fix it. Gotta mix it to lix it. Okay, that looks about mixed up enough. Then they went ahead and added a little bit of all-purpose flour. They didn't say how much to use, so I'm just hoping that I'm doing this correctly. It looks like they made it into a weird paste thing. Mmm, oh, fuck. I got it everywhere. But you can't tell, because I got this white countertop. Okay, now it's time to put this into this bag without making a huge mess. Wish me luck, boys. Like that, maybe? I really hope that this works. I would love to make some homemade noodles at home. Okay, water's all boiled. Oh, whew. this was a bad idea. Just clean you up there. I don't know exactly what they used to make the broth part, so to give it that shitty uh, Chinese food taste, I'm gonna go ahead and use some top ramen. I don't really need that. Put the flavor packet in. Don't you hate it when this happens and not all the stuff comes out? Okay, this looks nothing like the video, but good enough. And then what they did was they cut the tip off of this bad boy. I guess like that. Okay, let's hope this works. I mean, it's kind of working. This is kind of cool. Woo! This is a fun little activity you can do with the kids. I'm not sure if I'm liking how this looks. So how do I know when this is done? Please don't boil over. Please don't boil over. Please don't boil over. Okay, they're kind of coming out noodly. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It kind of smells like waffles. How the heck do you know if this is done or not? Maybe I should try the old spaghetti rule. In case you guys don't know what the old spaghetti rule is, if you can throw a spaghetti noodle at the wall and it sticks, that means that it's fully cooked. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this at the wall and see if it sticks. You ready? That's disgusting. I mean, some of it stuck to the wall, but all of it went on the floor. I guess we'll just say that it's done. Oh yeah. Oh, that's some good stuff. Okay, I can tell you guys now that this does not smell as good as it looks. Okay, time for the old roommate test. Hey Sebastian, what are you doing right now? I need you to tell me how this tastes. No, come back. No, Sebastian, come back. I need you to tell me how this tastes. Hey Tori, do you want to try this? What is it? Can you please try this? What is it? It's it's uh, ramen noodle soup. It smells disgusting. I know, it smells awful. How is it? It's good? You like it? It doesn't taste like anything. Do you want me to make this for dinner? No. You can have the whole bowl if you want. No, it's fine. You can have it, Robin. Okay, I guess it's time for me to try this sh <sighs> Here we go. Oh. This is honestly so f***ing disgusting. So for this one, I actually don't have a printer to print out the Eiffel Tower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace it off one of my screens really quick. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, look, it's me. I'm gonna go ahead and move this because it's a little disorientating. <laughs> tape the wax paper onto here. The tape isn't sticking to the parchment paper. Why? Oh, because it's parchment paper. That's why. This should be correct. And I am now done tracing the Eiffel Tower. Now let's try and make some beautiful glue art. This is so freaking complicated. Okay, so I just have to make four of these bad boys. This is my all-time favorite biggest waste of hot glue. Okay, so this is all dry. Time for the second one. This one's also dry. Two more to go. This one's all dry now. <sighs> now time for the last one. Can't wait for this to be over if I'm being honest. Okay, so it looks like our last one is all dry. There is no way that this is going to stand up straight. Holy shit. It's gonna be so fucking floppy. Do I just hold it straight the whole time? You know what? I think it might actually stay up. I I've lost all hope in humanity. Ah! Woo! 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 You can do it, Eiffel Tower. I kind of believe in you. Ow, 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 ow,
Okay, we're good. I'm definitely not gonna do a hot glue gun video again for a while, guys. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. I know you guys like to see me burn myself. Ah! If you guys want to watch another video of me burning myself, you can also click the card over here. Uh, that one's a fun one. Almost done. I just have this one last side. <laughs> I think the hardest part about this is I can't tell what glue is still hot and what isn't hot. And we're done, guys! It actually stands up. How? How is that possible? It's kind of looking more like the Leaning Tower of Pisa than it is the Eiffel Tower. I'll say that it kind of works, but I kind of hate this. I think I'm going to give this to my buddy Rusty uh, to help him remember the, the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. Rusty, I have a gift for you. And yes, what is that? Here we go! <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool, man. It's an Eiffel Tower made out of hot glue to help you remember the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. How much time did you spend on this? Uh, a lot, and I got a third degree burn right here. Good job. That's not bad. <laughs> not bad, man. Okay guys, so this first part, I don't know if I can do this first part. <laughs> this hack is breaking my kitchen. So in the hack, it looked like they used a red apple. I don't know if a green apple, if it really matters, but we just, there we go. I'll see you boys in a bit. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, let's see how our apples looking. Okay, this is interesting. It's frozen solid! Let's just go ahead and put this outside to thaw out a little bit. Hey, I'll see you in about an hour, Apple. One hour later. Okay, time to see how our friend's doing. Mr. Apple! Are you done with your time in the sun? No, please! I'm not ready to go back! Take that as a yes. It's time for the big moment, boys. It's time for the thumbnail. We're just gonna try and squeeze it. Is it gonna work? Come on. Oh! <gasps> It's actually working! There's actually juice coming out of this. That's crazy! It works, guys! It works! Okay, looks simple enough. So I got my dustpan, got my bucket. Let's see if I can do this like a real boy! It doesn't reach! It kind of works! It's working! I definitely think this would have worked better if I had a longer handle or a different sink. But overall, I think it works! Woo! We got our whiteboard, our permanent marker. Oh no, my fingernails are dirty. I know how much you guys love that. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash these bad boys really quick. Just gotta get up in I'm there. I'm gonna keep scrubbing these until they're clean. Okay, that should be good enough. Put you back right where I found you. There, is that good enough for you guys? Okay, let's get on with the video. Oh no, now my board's gonna stay this forever. So we just go ahead and write over it. You guys didn't see anything. There's nothing here. I'm gonna use an old sock to wipe it clean. Wow! This is so clean! You can barely tell that I love men! Do it one more time for the for the wraparound. Kind of get all the little spots. Let's see if that works. And I think we did it! So this one works! Okay, so what I got from this is that if you throw an orange at your camera, it will suddenly peel itself. So that's what we're gonna try right now, okay? It didn't work. What the fuck? Come on, just. <sighs> it's not working. Well, I probably shouldn't waste a perfectly good orange. Maybe it'll work better if I only use a quarter of it. Just shove it into the lens, maybe. I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. So this last one, this last one just doesn't make sense. Here, uh, watch it really quick. I don't get how hanging tiny hats from the ceiling is a prank. I don't have time to make all these tiny hats, so I'm just gonna use my hat collection. God, hanging up all these hats is gonna be so spooky. Oh, they're all hung up. This looks so freaking ridiculous. Now it's time for me to try the prank. <laughs> Joanna Brasky! Boo! Aren't these hats so spooky? Oh my god. <laughs> Way to store your hats because now you'd be like, Oh, I want to wear this one today. And then, bam, you have your hat on. But isn't it such a spooky prank? Oh, it's it's so scary. <laughs> I'm just gonna start hanging all my clothes like this. What a great prank! Oh, 
Okay guys, so we got our orange, we got our knife. Go ahead and cut some of this off. Here's our balloon. Oh boy, I don't like the sound of popping balloons. Oh god, why isn't it popping? It's not working, what the heck? I wonder what's up with that. Just gonna rub it all on there. Why isn't it working? Maybe put the whole orange peel on there. What the heck? I don't know what's going on with this. Why isn't it working? I'm gonna go get a fresh balloon and see what happens. Okay, so we got our balloon, we got our orange peel. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, oh my god, it worked. Oh my god. It works. Oh my god, I'm shaking. It works, guys. <laughs> Okay, so this one looks pretty easy. All I gotta do is draw a line like that. I think it's more like that. So I gotta draw a line like that. Okay, easy peasy. Then I grab the card, just go whoop, like that. I think that's how they did it. I'm gonna double check. Yep, that's exactly how they did it. Now let's go try it. Lock ourselves out. That seems pretty locked. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, I lost it. Oh no. Oh shit. Uh, I don't have my keys. Can someone let me in? Oh man, what am I gonna do? Oh. I sell trade. I tried to break into my own house and it didn't work. Breaking and entering five minute craft. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna have regular hard-boiled eggs on this side, and the lemon hard-boiled eggs on this side. Just put these down right here. I'm gonna do this one over here, actually. Because aesthetics! Okay, so now these bad boys are boiling. Uh, time to put the eggs in. Excuse me, what are you doing? Oh, sh**. Are you yoking me? I think executed! I wonder if there's gonna be sex and bitches where I'm going. Woo, hot tub party! Now I gotta slice up the lemon. There we go. I'm gonna put two slices just to be safe. You know what, just put the whole fucking lemon in. Maybe that'll do something, I don't know. And I'll see you guys in 14 minutes. Okay, time's up for these bad boys. <laughs> that was awful! That's hot. Ow! Okay, and apparently these are supposed to break apart really freaking easily, so uh, let's go ahead and try that right now. Okay, so we'll just... Oh, that's so hot. Ah! Maybe it'd be better if I just did it under cold water. There you go, got one egg. Shut up! Shut up! I think this one actually cracked in half properly. Oh, wow. I wouldn't say that there's any particular advantage with the lemon, but I mean... I guess it might do something. I don't really know, I'm not a scientist. So this is without the lemon, there's still some eggshells stuck on there, but I didn't really pull them off. I guess overall the eggshells did come off a little easier on the lemon, so I guess that's a... Maybe I can scrape it off with this knife. Get off of my desk. There we go, clean this up a little bit. So for this one, we're gonna need a glass Coke bottle and some condoms. Ooh, cheap dollar store condoms. I'm so risky because I have these. You guys are so funny because Tori used a condom in one of her videos and you guys are like, why do you have a condom? Tori and me are virgins. We would never use a condom. This is really gross if you think about it because now you're just gonna get lube all up in your Coke bottle. Put the glue in. I'm gonna need so much glue for this. I think it's also gonna melt the condom. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just filling this condom up with this beautiful hot liquid. I've used three glue sticks on this. I kind of hope it works. Okay, guys, I've been laying this dry for about 20 minutes now. Uh, let's go ahead and pull it out. Is it gonna come out? Oh, it did! I still think it's gross that there's lube all over the bottle now. That's good, it didn't melt the condom. So does it go back in? Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good, we're good. It went back in. Okay, so this looks like a good quirk so far. It's a little looser than I think a quirk should be, but uh, maybe it'll work. We're gonna go ahead and put some water into this bottle, and I'm getting this everywhere. Put the quirk back in. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tip it over and see if it works. Over my head. I really don't think this works very well. How is this supposed to be a prank? I guess they're just like, jokes on you guys, not a real pumpkin. So for this, I'm gonna need newspaper, glue, paintbrush, glass bowl, and some string. I went ahead and bought some really cheap uh, dollar puffy paint and a balloon! 
balloon! So it looks like they blew up the balloon first. Oh, this is purple. I was not expecting that. I thought this was a black balloon. I guess they put tape over the balloon so that air wouldn't get out. Then they got their string. They tied it like this. Five minute crafts. More like 15 minute crafts. How do I keep it? in place. Do I just use my face? Oh god, what if it pops? That's so scary. And that says to kind of blow on it so that it'll get bigger. It's a good thing I'm really good at blowing. <gasps> That's a lot harder than I thought it would be. That's what she said. I think I might have done this wrong. How does she make it look so easy? <laughs> I'm getting so lightheaded. I'm trying to loosen up the strings. Maybe that'll help, but it doesn't... <sighs> I'm actually having trouble with this. I took so long on this. Literally, my card filled up, so I had to empty it. Okay, I might be a 24-year-old man doing crafts, but this is way harder than I think it's supposed to be. Oh, I think I get the prank now. It's fucking impossible to do. I'm so close to giving up right now. Okay, I'm gonna start from square one. I'm having way too much trouble with this for this to be like... Are you shitting me? Starting over again. And I ripped my balloon. Oh. Nope. Ah! Okay, I'm so scared this is gonna pop. Oh, that's that's great. I just want to finish this already. I've been working on this for almost half an hour. Now, I've never actually made paper mache before, so this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be interesting to say the least. I think I'm supposed to cut these into strips. Put this glue in here. Whoa. So I guess like. They dipped it in. Oh god, this is so messy. I don't like this. Again, guys, I've never made paper mache in my life. So if I'm doing this wrong, please don't get mad at me. I don't know how the heck they would manage to do this in five minutes. Ah, don't get on my carpet! If this doesn't turn out right, I won't even be mad. I don't think I'm doing this right. I'm gonna go ahead and put this out to dry. I will see you guys in two hours. Two hours later. It looks like it's pretty dry. It doesn't look very pumpkin-like though. Now we just gotta bring this inside. Okay, here we go. This literally looks like a balloon covered in newspaper. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and paint this thing. I should have probably gotten spray paint for this, but that gets expensive. Yep, this is definitely not looking like a pumpkin at all. I took a red balloon and I painted it orange. This is all the paint that I have. We're just gonna pretend that this side isn't newspaper. That's my uh, that's my finished pumpkin. I forgot to make a stem for it. Uh, I did buy this brown paint, but oops. The prank is it, it looks nothing like a pumpkin. What a good prank! Okay, so this one looks easy. We got our Coke, we got our milk. Now we just gotta put our milk in our Coke. This seems like such a waste of milk and Coke. No, 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 why are you imploding? Why are you imploding? I'm gonna go ahead and rip this off. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, I feel like th it's been long enough. Um, let's see how this smells. I feel like it's not gonna smell that great. It smells kind of like a root beer float. Should I taste it? I mean, it's just milk and Coke. What, what could go wrong? That was kind of gross. But it worked! Okay, so we grab our Snickers, then we gotta pound this baby. Okay, I think that's enough pounding of this Snickers. Okay, now we get our bowl. Snickers in our bowl. Oh yeah, that looks super appetizing. So in the video, it looks a little different. It looks more like a Milky Way bar when they open it. Now we gotta pop this baby in the microwave for four minutes. Okay, time to get my dirty ass microwave for four minutes. A few moments later. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Dude, it only got to two minutes. Holy sh! this is smoking up my whole house. Oh no. Five minute crafts, what is wrong with you guys? Oh my God. It said do it for four minutes. And there was like smoke plummeting out of the microwave. I'm sorry, Tori. I just did it because Five Minute Crafts told me to. Just get, get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, out of my life. Get out, get out, get out of my life. So do you want to see the wonderful creation? No. Is it gross? Okay, and this is what we're left with. I think theirs looks quite a bit different than mine. Anyway, let's try and put it in this toothpaste tube. Cut that off. Oh, there's still a little toothpaste in there. Oh, gosh. We got our four. Oh Oh, my God, that is so hard. Ugh. So we got our uh, hot, creamy. Oh, no. It's so burnt. <laughs> Get that. Put it right in there. It doesn't look like it's going in as creamy smooth as the other chocolate did, but, I mean, we're working with what we got. That seems like it's full enough. Uh, don't need that anymore. 
anymore. And I guess we just, uh, like they did in the video, just kind of tape that up a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks real secure. I feel like if the chocolate was all liquidy, it would seep out of that. <laughs> so we open up our toothpaste tube. It's not coming out. Guys, it's not coming out. What do I do? <gasps> I have an idea. Get out! I'm trying to exercise the Snickers. Dude, it is not coming out at all. Like, it does not want to come out. Uh, I'm gonna say that this doesn't work. <laughs> Okay, I know it said boil them for three minutes, but for the sake of not wasting food and also I kind of hate gooey eggs, we're just gonna go ahead and use these bad boys from earlier in the video. You remember them. Got my rice. It's a little burned, but that's how I like it. I like my rice a little burned. And then it says to roll the eggs in what I'm assuming is all-purpose flour. I don't really know. Put this bad boy in here. Dude, this stuff gives me such anxiety. I am not excited about this part. How the f*** am I supposed to do this? I hate cling wrap with a passion. Dump that back over here. Do this like how they did in the video. Kinda like a diaper, I guess. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, that fell apart. Wrap this baby up for the stork. Do I just really squeeze it tight. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Okay, that looks like a decent little ball. Take out our bacon. Meanwhile, this fell apart. I had to get the cheapest bacon I could find. How am I supposed to work with this? Make it happen, boys. We can do a bacon. Hold this thing together. No, no! I don't think I did this right. Oh man, this thing's a mess. Okay, now to transport this onto the pan very gracefully and magically. That looks about right. That definitely looks like it does in the video. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, that's turning out great. Oh man, I really suck at this. Then it said to throw some sugar on there. Okay, gonna try and conform it all back together just one more time for good measure. Okay, this looks like uh, as good as I'm gonna get. You know what? It looks great. Okay, now it's time for me to try my beautiful creation. Might be a little overcooked, my doing. Mmm! You know what? The mix of the bacon grease and the sugar makes it the rice taste really good. Dude, I'm probably not gonna eat eggs for like a month after this. <laughs> you know, if I did this one correctly, it might have turned out pretty good. But this was a little too difficult for me. So I'm not exactly sure what putting uh, hot glue on your nails is gonna do, but uh, let's try it. I hope this isn't too painful. <laughs> This was an awful idea. Five minute crafts, why do you want me to do this? Okay, so cutting board. Then we grab our apple and turn them into little spears. Gather these up a little bit. <sighs> that always happens when I do that. And I wasn't sure what kind of dough I was supposed to use, so I just bought pizza crust, because let's face it, pizza is the best food in the world. I'm not 100% sure how to open this. I think like that. Peel and press spoon here. Okay, that works. Get out of here, apples. So apparently then I'm supposed to make two even strips, kind of like this. I don't know what I was supposed to do with that. Just supposed to. I couldn't find one of those flour sifter things, so I just went ahead and bought a sink strainer. I'm sure it'll do the same thing, right? And we get our powdered sugar here. Pour it all in there. I think that's working. A little bit more. Why not? Okay, I think I might have put a little bit too much. Put some over here just to even it out, I guess. Same thing with this one. Here we go. Then I just go ahead and start rolling it like this, I guess. Oh no, I don't think this is working like how it's supposed to. Yeah, I'm sure this is fine. Oh man. I think mine look better, personally. I don't know. Okay, so now I'm gonna transfer for them onto the oven sheet. Oh, that's gross, that's a hair. Here's the other one. I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I mean, they don't look that much different. Oh boy. Yeah, it's like a, you know, it's special in its own way. Okay guys, now it's time to try these puppies out. I'm gonna go for this one because it looks like it's the most cooked. Um, it's okay. I mean, I'm starving, so it doesn't taste that bad. It's kind of like an apple pie, only the crust isn't really that hard. I mean, it's not that bad. So I guess it works, kinda.
Okay, so we get our matches. I don't know why they spread them out like that. Oh, these are the wrong matches. These are my glue gun matches. Man, these really got me out in a pinch that one time. I'm really thankful for I'm these. Really thankful thankful for these. For these. Like this match right here and put it on the googly eye. Oh my god! Ah, oh, that burns! All over that googly eye. Yes. <sighs> He's perfect. I wandered through the desert, cold and alone. No! I have to keep going for you! Then we pick out the best one. I choose this one. Don't eat all of those. And then we decapitate it. Put that matchstick right on there. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Uh, there we go. Okay, now for the next part, poke a hole in it like that. And then I gotta make wings, I guess. It's kind of cool that they're showing us how to make bottle rockets out of matchsticks. This just seems a little bit dangerous for younger kids. It's like a little rocket stick. Okay, this looks like it's all good to go. Let's try it out. Maybe I'll do it down here and see what happens. And we're gonna light our match. Oh! Ow! Ow! Okay. It didn't work! What the heck? It just burnt through the aluminum. Yeah, but I was kind of excited for that one to work. Okay, so I remade it and we're gonna try this again. Let's hope it doesn't explode on me. It didn't work again! It did a little fart though. <laughs> that was kind of funny. It's a cute little idea, I appreciate it. Okay guys, now I'm gonna put some of these eggs in the freezer. My roommates are gonna think this is so freaking weird. Okay, there are my eggs. So apparently both of them have been cracked. Uh, I, I hope that doesn't affect the egg quality at all. So I guess we'll try and crack some of these eggs. Uh, this might be harder than I thought. How did she do this? Okay, so looking back on it, uh, I think I was supposed to soak it in warm water a little bit to kind of detach the shell from the egg so it would be easier to slip the, the shell off. I'm really good at this. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's keep going. Okay. Oh, I just cracked it. Maybe it'll still work? I don't know. That definitely looks appetizing. Let's try and not break this one. Top 10, one of the grossest things I've done. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. Ugh, get off me. Okay, that looks a little bit more reasonable. Okay, now we're gonna try and cut these bad boys up. Okay, this is the first one. Good. Not so good. Very not good. This is disgusting. So I don't think that this one was frozen enough. Let's try this one. This is so slippery. These look a little bit more promising. Butter, butter, butter. Okay, now time to try and put some of these on there. This definitely isn't my favorite way to make eggs, but I guess it's interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. Oh, that was a fail. Go ahead and put a little bit of salt and pepper. I mean, they don't look bad. They definitely don't look as good as they did in the video. Just gotta pick it up with a finger because it looks like you're supposed to eat this with your fingers. Oh my god. Oh my god! <gasps> it tastes like egg. It tastes just exactly like egg. This was way too much work for the results. Tori, you wanna try this? Try egg, try egg! It's good? Not bad for like all the hacks so far that you've tried. This has so far been my favorite. These are definitely better than the noodles. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw an egg at your face, sorry. Did that hurt? No. I'm sorry, I love you. Yeah, Guys, oh. make sure you get yourself a girlfriend that clings on to you like this. I could just take her anywhere. <laughs> I'm not strong enough. You gotta be stronger. Tori, if I'm gonna be strong enough to hold you, you need to be strong enough to hold on. Next hack! Okay, so we got our phone, got our cling wrap. This stuff still gives me anxiety. Wrap our phone in cling wrap. Where is the beginning to this thing? Where the fuck is it? I don't know where to start. There's no good start with cling wrap. Who invented this sh Apparently cling wrap used to be even more clingy. I would kind of hate that because this is already super clingy, but it's not clingy enough. I don't know. This just seems awful because it just sticks to itself. Oh my God. Now it's sticking to my phone. Okay, good enough. I guess we just cut it. I feel like this is gonna crack my screen or something with how hot the glue is gonna get potentially. Well, we'll see. Glue, glue, glue my phone, glue it all together. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make a phone case better. This is stupid, I'm bad at rhyme. I would say that I'd do a stress test using this phone case, but I kinda don't wanna destroy my phone because I'm sort of running out of phones. 
What pattern did she do? Let's see. So she went like that. Oh, I wasn't supposed to get it on the camera. Oh, shit. I hope this still works. So I'm supposed to go around the camera like that. Do like a spider web looking thing. I don't care who you are. If you have a hot glue phone case, there's obviously something wrong with you. Unless you like this kind of stuff, then there's nothing wrong with you. You're a beautiful snowflake and that should be celebrated. Preferably by getting a new phone case because this one is shit. I shouldn't be so hard on this thing because I haven't really seen it in action. So mine is definitely a lot less clean than the one in the video. I'm so freaking good at crap. Ah, f me. I burned myself again. I think this is gonna be the last time I do a hot glue gun video for a while because I kind of hate this. Okay, let's see. Is this dry? The best way to tell if your glue is dry is just by touching it because there's nothing unsafe about that. And we gotta do the sides. Just gonna keep putting glue all over this phone. Oh no, I glued my phone to my desk. Ow! myself again. I truly am the master of using a hot glue gun. Oh no! Oh f I feel like this isn't gonna work. I feel like I'm just dumb. How is it not supposed to stick to the cling wrap? Or to my desk? How is it not supposed to stick to my desk? If only my mom could see me now. Look at all the crafts I've made. Man, if I were to tell my five-year-old self that I'm still doing crafts as a 24-year-old, he'd probably believe me because crafts are pretty damn fun. Except using hot glue guns. Hot glue guns are kind of sh I wonder if I even used a hot glue gun as a five-year-old. I feel like I did I just have a long piece of like hot glue sticking to my hand. I feel like Spider-Man right now. <sighs> ah! I glued my phone to my hand. I mean, I guess it isn't like it isn't glued to my hand already. Do you get it? It's like a we're slaves to technology joke. I feel like we're almost done. Probably one more stick of hot glue and we should be done. Yeah, I'm just gonna pour it all on there. There we go. We're gonna let this dry for a little bit and uh, see how the phone turned out. Fucking hot glue is stuck on my desk. I'll see you guys in a minute. So the glue is all dried now. I'm gonna go ahead and try and take this off. Oh wow, that came off a lot easier than I thought it would. Not bad. Woo! We did it! Now to try and get this cling wrap off. Oh, yep, just as I thought. The cling wrap has melted to the hot glue. This is the most ugly phone case I've ever seen. No, I'm not feeling this at all. This is awful. Maybe if I cut this so that you can see the screen a little better. This definitely looks a little bit more like a phone case. So I put this on. This honestly feels so awful in my hands. I kind of hate this. So this was the phone case that actually came with this phone that I got. I'm gonna go ahead and compare. This is what it looks like with just a regular phone case. And this is a hot glue gun phone case. I mean, I think it might protect your phone. Hot glue. Normal phone case. I'm gonna be really neutral on this because I feel like I could have done a better job on this, but also it is a hot glue phone case, so uh, I can only think of one thing that would make this phone case better. Boom! Stickers! If you guys want any of the sick merch, there's a card right here and also link down in the description down below. Okay, so I got my bag, got my orange juice. I'm using Sunny D because Tori said that it doesn't matter if it's orange juice or not. We'll see. <laughs> Open that up, put it in the bag. I think I might have put too much. I think that should be fine. That should be fine. Then I get my bag of ice. I put the juice stuff in here. I add the salt. I'm just gonna hope that that's enough. <laughs> and then apparently I just mix the fuck out of it. Yep, my bag is leaking. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I think it's working. Getting all over me! Ah! Okay, gonna open this baby up. What? Oh wait, no, it's it's just really cold. I think I gotta mix it. More. Maybe I need more salt? I don't know. Okay, I'm back with even more ice, and I'm gonna double bag this thing. Now we're gonna put our concoction into this bag. We don't need this one anymore. Now we add our salt to this bag. I'm gonna add a lot this time. I added about half of this thing, so maybe it'll work this time. I'm starting to think I should have went with the more expensive bags. Shake it, shake it, shake it! I think I've been doing that long enough. Let's see if it worked. Oh. No f***ing way. It actually works. It's frozen! It actually froze! I'm not sure what the science is behind this, but it actually f***ing froze. Now I have like Sunny D ice cream. This is so cool! Wow! It actually worked! Wow, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed.
So the first thing you do is you get a proper mug. I kind of like this one. It's metal and uh, it's perfect for the any apocalypse. You get your hot water and you put it in there. Oh no, that's steaming you up. I'm so sorry. Next, we're gonna make our hot cocoa. I'm gonna use the pre-packaged hot cocoa. Uh, mine is most likely gonna have wabs. If you guys don't want wabs, feel free to click on that video. It's a tutorial on how to make some bomb hot chocolate by Yusaki Cooking. Uh, he's a lot funnier than me, so I understand if you guys stop watching me and just start watching him completely. Also, make sure to tell him that Robbie sent you and to thank him for fixing your wabs. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Take our stencil, put it right there, just like that. Use a little tape to hold that on. Then we're gonna use our sink strainer to sift the powdered sugar in. Maybe this will work. It didn't work at all. I'm gonna go ahead and use some ground cinnamon. Maybe that'll work better. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> it kind of didn't work at all. Man, I'm so good at this. I should just go to barista school, start working at Starbucks, quit my job as a YouTuber. Yep, if you guys don't hear from me after this video, that's what happened. So I feel like I was just too incompetent to make this work. <laughs> Do you guys like this blue background? I put it here because my desk is just so fucking dirty from all these crafts I've done. So this is uh, the new backdrop from now on, I guess. So we're gonna get a little bit of wax paper. We're gonna draw ourselves some vampire teeth. Grr, I'm going to suck your blood. That's the right shape, right? Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. Making myself some sick vampire tea. There we go. Then we gotta let these dry for a little bit. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Peel that off. Oh okay, yeah, not bad. Let's do another one. Okay, now we let that one dry. Now this one looks done. Peel that off. Yeah, these kind of look like vampire tea. And we just grab our glue gun and we put three little dots on there. Hold them together. Just like the video. Now it's just sandwiched together. And these are my new fangs. Now it's time to test these babies out. So I'm supposed to just slide them onto my teeth like this? Uh, uh huh. Uh, I think I might have done this wrong. It's completely melted together now. Oh no. Oh, oh no! I don't think I could sink my teeth into this. <laughs> oh man, that was dumb. I'm just trying to rip them apart now so that I can put my teeth onto them. Oh yeah. Grr! I'm so scary. I just gotta keep biting onto them. Okay, now to test this out on Tori. Tori, Tori! I have something to tell you. I've become a vampire. Wa ha ha! It's not even a porky. You're just holding it in your mouth. I'm a vampire. Wa ha ha ha! Because I'm a vampire. Do you feel like one? Well, I'm not a vampire, but I feel like one. I'm not a vampire, but I feel like one. I got you. I'm going to suck your blood now. I think your teeth fell out. Oh, uh, those are, no, those are my real teeth. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, suck your blood. Suck your blood. Too spit that out of my face. Did it work? Did that scare you? No, not really. It didn't work at all. I made you think that I was a real vampire for a second, didn't I? Yeah, sure, Robbie. Okay, so apparently if you use a strainer to make your scrambled eggs, they'll come out a lot more fluffy. So what I'm gonna do is make regular scrambled eggs first and then compare it to the strainer scrambled eggs. <laughs> Pour, pour, pour. Let that sit for a second. Then go ahead and, oh, that is, I think I might have left it on too long. And then just kind of scramble it like that. Okay, now it's time to try this weird strainer thing. Not to be confused with uh, stranger things. <laughs> pour that in there. Okay, it seems to be kind of going through. These eggs look moderately better. I don't know, they still don't look fluffy. Maybe I just suck at making scrambled eggs. Okay, these look about done. Okay guys, I kind of have a confession. I kind of forgot which eggs were which. So we have these, um, they look okay. I mean, they're not the best scrambled eggs. And then these are my basic ass, uh, scrambled eggs. Now it's time for a little taste test. I'm gonna try my uh, basic scrambled eggs first. Yup, definitely tastes like egg. Now it's time for these bad boys. Yep, just as I suspected. Also tastes just like egg. Does anyone want some scrambled eggs in this house? Okay, boys, I brought my flippy floppies. Now it's time for me to write my very important message. Okay, so I guess we'll start on the... Is this the right foot? You, I bet you guys already know what I'm gonna write. Go back and watch more of my videos, especially my last glue video, because that one's a good one. Yes, this looks great. Next one. I love men. We're looking pretty freaking golden right now. 
Okay guys, now it's time to try these babies out. So I have my beautiful girlfriend, Tori Dabransky here. Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and wear these and wander into the desert and after five minutes, she's gonna try and find me. I don't know if it's gonna work because the ground's really rocky. No, this is our beach. We're at a beach, Tori. Oh. See all the sand? This is this See is that? where we are. We're, we're, in the, we're in the sand. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. I'm probably cringing out so many of you guys because I'm wearing socks with sandals. She has a timer for five minutes. Ready and go. Okay, close your eyes, Tori. Down okay, so one thing I realized about two minutes into my journey, since I put I love men the right way, it doesn't say I love men correctly. Man, I'm just so freaking good at crafts. I wish that he left his keys here so I could seal his car. Sebastian, what if you just never like went out and looked for him? We just took his car, just drove back home. Tor's over there. Let's see if she can find me. My big pile of rocks, collecting these puppies for years now. What does that even say? I mean, the hot glue's still holding up, so that's good. Did it. Huh, it looks like someone's already made refuge here. And they have a shower stool. Five minutes have gone by, so we're gonna go look for him. I know he went that way, so I'm just gonna start. I'm sure she'll find me. Hope I find him. Oh, oh, I found one! Wow, okay, so they do kind of work on like the really sandy bits, but like on the rocks, there were nothing. Okay, so he must be around here somewhere now. Okay, so he either went that way, or he went up towards the weird ball thing. So I'm gonna look at the ball thing first, cause I wanna find out what that is anyways. <sighs> starting to get cold, where the heck are they? Kind of worried, cause if we don't find them, we kind of can't go home. Cause he has the keys to the car. This is really scary. Riley, are you up here? Oh, I'm slipping. I found these clothes. Maybe, oh God. These are so gross. These look like they've just been sitting out here for months. Well, if they keep me warm, I guess. I think I just killed him. Oh, 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 oh. I just gotta sit on my little stool. I hope Tori finds me soon. Roger, where'd you go? It's really late, but you look so cold. The things didn't work. I don't know where you are. Abby, where are you? Oh, where he is, man. Okay, well. It's starting to get cold and dark. Where the heck are they? It got really dark, and it's really cold outside. So I'm just gonna sit in the car and just hope that he comes back. Okay guys, it's getting pretty dark now. Waiting here for about three hours. I think that Tori might have <laughs> headed back to the car, but I don't know where I parked. I should probably try and head back now. I just can't seem to find where my footprints are. This was such a bad idea. Okay, here we go again. Mix, mix, mix. Uh, that looks good enough. Okay, I'm really hoping that I don't burn myself when I do this. Pour it in the ladle like this. Oh, I think I put way too much. Oh shit, I forgot the butter. Okay, let's try this again. They used oil, but I'm gonna use butter because I feel like this butter's just always fucking better. Pour that in there. I feel like that's more than enough. No! Oh, my roommates are gonna kill me. So just spin it around like that. Can I hold it upside down? I'm gonna make the decision and say that this is about done. So just... Whoa! Oh, it came out! Let's try another one. I think I put a little too much again. It's like an egg crepe or something. I wonder if you could actually make crepes like this. They kind of look a little bit undercooked, like they're dripping. I really don't know how I feel about this. Oh, yep, just putting my tongue on that. I can taste it. It's, it's raw egg. Oh. That's so gross. I know you're supposed to put stuff inside of these, but I don't think it would help very much since these are pretty raw. This hack involves one of my favorite things ever. You guessed it. Tin foil. You can use it to make hats that you can use to read people's minds. Just kidding. I'm talking about bacon. So what I'm gonna do is put this side with the normal tin foil and do this one where you fold it zigzag. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip it right here. That way it can fit. I hope this kind of looks like one of those things that you put on your window so the sun doesn't get in. Oh my gosh, it does. Okay, now let's put the bacon on. How the heck can there be so much glory in so little space? I really feel like this isn't gonna do anything. 375. It looks like these little piggies aren't going to the market today. Later. All right, boys, it's bacon time. 
Okay, so it does look like this one is a little bit more covered in grease, and this one is a little bit cleaner. I uh, I am noticing a little bit of a difference here. Ooh, that is some nicely cooked bacon, actually. Not bad. I'm gonna have to blot some of this grease off here. So I think that this method works better if you want like floppy bacon, and this one's better for like crispy bacon. So I guess we could say it works. So for this one, I'm gonna use this t-shirt that I got when I was in San Diego for that uh, crafting convention. This one was actually signed by Five Minute Crafts themselves. I feel like the shirt would have been worth more if uh, if I didn't get this sign. So we'll just go ahead and add some of this hand sanitizer. But I guess you're supposed to blot it like this. I think I might have put a little too much hand sanitizer. And then it says I'm supposed to use baking soda, but all I have is regular soda. Let's pour that on there. I really hope this doesn't f*** up my shirt even more. Also, I don't have any lemon juice, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this grapefruit from my last video. Ugh, squeeze that on there. Oh, don't need this anymore. Gonna need this bad boy again. Then we just kind of scrub, scrub, scrub. Ugh, man, this is actually kind of gross. Maybe more hand sanitizer? Now I guess it's time to wash it. Just gonna clean up this mess using the same shirt. Please ignore the giant pile of trash in our washroom. Two hours later. Okay, this bad boy is fresh out of the oven. Let's see what the results are. Well, uh, it doesn't look like it worked. Maybe if I didn't use real soda instead of baking soda, it would have, but... I don't know. that this one works, that way I never had to pay for helium ever again. <laughs> Where the f*** did I put my funnel? So we get the funnel on the balloon, like that. Baking soda in. Wonder how much I'm supposed to add. Oh no! No, no, no! Baking soda smell bad? I really hope it doesn't, because I just got it all over everything. Oh my goodness. Let's hope I don't do that with the vinegar too, that would be awful. I've never had good luck with funnels. Ugh, god, there's baking soda all over everything now. Please don't explode, please don't explode, please don't explode. I think. How much did they put in theirs? Oh, they did not put very much at all. Oh, man. This stuff smells so bad. <laughs> gross, 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 gross. Let's hope that this doesn't get all over everything. I'm gonna cry if it does. Okay, guys, wish me luck. Please don't pop. 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 I gotta get all the baking soda out. It's still in there. Dude, this is so scary. I wanted to pop and get all over everything. There's baking soda all inside of it. Okay, so apparently this is gonna float now. Oh my god. I know this is gonna smell bad. Please don't smell bad. Oh, it's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought. Now for the moment of truth. Is this gonna float? Are you ready? One, two. I feel so lied to right now. Are you saying I did all this work just to blow up one balloon? That was not worth it. What the heck? I thought it was gonna float. Lame, lame, lame. It did blow up the balloon though, but that's just normal science. I learned that in second grade. So I don't have any lipstick, so I'm gonna see if uh, Tori has any that I can borrow. Lipstick. Are you in here? Oh, oh that's not even makeup. What the heck? Where does Tori even keep her makeup? Oh. It was right out in front of me the whole time. Uh, Maybe in the bathroom? Hmm. Maybe one of these will work. This kind of looks like lipstick. Sure, let's go with that one. Okay, so the first step was put the makeup on the finger. Awesome, makeup is on my finger. Then we get our tape, put it on there, and then get that fingerprint. Yeah, sure. That's good fingerprint. Oh yeah, that'll totally work. Okay, so just to show you guys that this phone does unlock with my fingerprint, I'm just gonna, boop, it's unlocked. Do that again, put my finger on it, it's unlocked. Now we're gonna try it with this one. So it looked like she just kind of put it on another finger. So I'm just gonna put it on my middle finger right here. Now boom, it's, uh, it's basically my finger that I used to unlock my phone. This is my regular finger I use. This is not my regular finger. So this is my regular finger. Unlocks perfectly. Now we're gonna try it with this finger. Ready? It's not unlocking. It doesn't seem to be working. I feel like now it's just like a mixture of my two fingerprints. I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay, so makeup on finger, tape on finger. We now have my fingerprint. Now I'm gonna put it on the phone and see if it unlocks without me touching it. Maybe if I put tape over my finger so that I don't mess with the actual fingerprint. Boom. Let's try this. It doesn't seem to be uh, unlocking my phone. So I'm gonna say that this doesn't work, guys. Okay, so we got our bag full of water. We go and we take our skewers like this, kind of, maybe like like this. Wrap this baby around. I don't know how practical this really is. I really hope this works because I actually have a water bottle that I use every day and uh, ice doesn't fit in it, so this would be nice. Okay. 
Okay, now we're all done with this. Just gotta make some room in the freezer for these bad boys. Now carefully transplant the organ. Oh no, oh no. Get in there. Okay, now we gotta wait for these bad boys to freeze. So it's been a little over a day since I put those in the freezer and this is the results. So they look pretty solid. Um, I feel like these might be able to fit in my water bottle. This is the ultimate water bottle test here. So we're just gonna go ahead and take some of these stick things off. So now. Okay, so that one doesn't fit in the water bottle at all. We got one winner. Wow, okay. So I definitely see a lot of potential in this one. The only problem is it's a little hard to determine what makes them smaller or not. I think it would be really cool if they just made plastic bags where you could just fill them up with water and then make them into like giant icicles for your water bottle. That would be a really smart idea. I should patent that. I would definitely buy something like that. That is such a freaking good idea. Okay guys, so now it's time for me to try and open this can with this spoon. <sighs> okay, so I don't really know particularly how they did it. This is very difficult. <clears throat> ah, open! <sighs> okay, maybe. Uh, so they just kind of did this. Uh, open! Uh, open! Fuck, I bent it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try another spot. Oh, okay, I think this is gonna take a while. I think I'm making some progress. I think it might be possible. Open up. I feel like I'm getting closer to opening this can of olives that I really want to open. You wanna tag me in? Right, let's go. Try and open right. this can. Let's, all right. Isn't this awful? I don't... Did you? I don't think so. It might be like weak, like right in this spot. Yeah, I feel like I was right in it. trying to get out of jail, like with a spoon. <laughs> this is the Canshaw Redemption. Hurting my pinky. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Dabs you right in the hand. Oh, good thing this is a spoon. Hold on, this might be the real hack. What if we use the other side? I was thinking of that actually. I feel like the can's just getting really bent up. Let's ask Lottie if he can do it. Hey Lonnie! Non dog? Totally perfect! We're trying to open this can of olives with a spoon. Why do you only. Why? Do you just need it open? We have a can opener. Well, I, I just wanted to try it. This is our progress. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is so scary. <laughs> I can't do this. Why a spoon though? Why not? Because we have tools to open cans. We don't need to use a spoon, Robbie. I'm gonna try it again. Here, okay. Whoa! Maybe we put that spoon down. No, like sharpen this. <gasps> we totally could. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna just sharpening it on the ground because I don't have a real sharpening stone. I'm gonna try it against the wall. Okay, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Tori, we already made that joke. And ah. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I didn't cut myself. Okay, I think that's a little sharper. We're gonna try this again. Oh! 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 We opened it! I'm so happy the prison spoon worked. <laughs> now I can escape from prison with my can of olives. This director like almost cut off his thumb with that, so I'll be careful. With a spoon? No, with a can. Cause they're really sharp, so be careful. Ugh. Hey, Tori, cancel my other plans. I have a date with these olives. Oh yeah, that's definitely working. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Ah! If I can get one olive out, I'll be happy. I did it. I freaking did it. You want an olive? Well, these are all for me then. Okay, so first step, we get our bottle. Yep, that's a bottle, looks good. Then we gotta ditch the bottle, and all we need really is this bottle cap. Now we stab the bottle cap. 
Okay, easy peasy. Have I ever mentioned to you guys that my friend cut off two of his fingers with this knife? I think it's been at least 10 videos, so I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to bring that up again. There we go. Yeah, sure. That looks uh, like how it does in the video. And we gotta make our weird lung flappy thingy. I don't know what the technical term for this is called. I think it's called a carburetor on cars, but I'm not sure what this would be called. This is the most complicated way of blowing up balloons I've ever seen. Don't need that anymore. We go ahead and tape this on. So we just tape it on like that. The other side. Woo, it looks like it's working. Oh wait, no, the flap's supposed to cover. So for the next part, it looks like I'm gonna need a soldering iron, but I don't have one. But I do have a screwdriver and a blowtorch. Oh baby, this is gonna be fun. We're just gonna heat this up. I hope this doesn't catch the paper on fire. Yeah, that should be hot enough to melt some plastic. Let's see, is it gonna work? Oh, that, that really worked. That definitely worked. Oh my gosh, yep, perfect. Okay, now for the fun part, and that's uh, trying to blow up a balloon with this thing. Oh my god, it's kind of working. Uh, kind of? Oh no, it ripped! Okay, I'll try it with another balloon. This is so convoluted. I figured it out! You just have to blow on it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm gonna say this doesn't work, guys. <laughs> Okay, so first step, water. Second step, boil the water. Water's boiled, then we add our tin foil. I guess I'm just supposed to boil it just like that. Baking soda, even though I could totally be sarcastic and just add regular soda like they said in the video. I'm gonna put a lot, because I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. Gonna let this do its thing, I guess, for a little bit. Here's our copper key, let's see if it'll uh, change color. I'm not sure how long you're supposed to leave this in for. Let's pull it out. Is it silver? I don't know. Okay, that doesn't quite look silver. Throwing it back in. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for five minutes and uh, I'll be back. Okay, let's see what the results are. It still looks the same. I don't understand. What is this supposed to do? Maybe if I put more tin foil in? I don't know. I'm gonna try with the tin foil like this on the outside. We're gonna add some more baking soda too, just to be safe. Oh no, I almost lost it. It's still not turning silver. What is supposed to be happening here? I don't understand. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's just where the baking soda dried onto it. Oh my God, this is about to overflow. I guess this one doesn't work. Sorry guys. So the first thing we're gonna need is a drill. Now we're gonna need an elbow pipe. You would not believe how hard it was to actually find one of these that would fit over this at Home Depot. Let's put this onto here. There we go, that went on. Oh no, <laughs> I just crushed it. And just to be safe, I got our old friend, Mr. Hot Glue Gun, to help us out. Really don't want this to come off. Well, I'm putting my meat through this tube. God, that sounds so wrong. <laughs> yeah, drill a hole in the back of this guy. Just a little bit of plastic everywhere, no big deal. We gotta make sure it's big enough for our stick to go through. It's perfect, it fits perfect. Then we go ahead and cut this bad boy. Now we got our meat, let's go ahead and try to put it in this tube thing. God, this is so gross. I think this is still good. I'm sorry to all you vegetarians that are watching this. Okay, we got about half the pound of ground beef in there. Okay, so we got our can, then we gotta push it out like this. I kinda hope that this works actually. Ugh. I have to put my whole body into this. I hope I don't crush the can. Ugh. Okay, it's coming out. I think it's actually working. Okay, I'm starting to see stars. I'm starting to see stars. I got meat juice all over me. This is so gross. Uh, it's starting to come out the bottom. Just gonna put all that back in there. Maybe if I put more meat in there. This is so excessive. I could have just rolled the beef onto the stick at this point. <laughs> yep, that can is... This was way harder than I thought it would be. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this one doesn't work, okay guys? <laughs> Got our pliers, got our fork. You know, they said to bend it down so that the last one, ooh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> That's what I get for using a fork from the dollar store. I think it's about to break off. Oh, it, yep, that broke off. That's completely broken. They said to do it the other way, but I think it would be more effective if we did it like this. Hey, do you guys have anything that needs to be screwed? We could use this. A wall socket? Maybe not actually, okay, let's find something else. Well, Tori, I think you're right. It's our only option. No, 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 no. No. Robbie, you're gonna electrocute yourself. What am I gonna screw that? Maybe I should just try dismantling my bed. So we're just gonna go put it in here. Well, I guess this is a bust. So 
So for this next one, I'm gonna need confetti, but I don't have any confetti, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some out of these post-it notes. Man, I hate it when it does this. Okay, we got our confetti, and we get our balloon. Cut off part of that. Snip, snip. Come on. I gotta put this balloon on here. There we go. Tape it right on. Put a little bit of that in there. Oh, that's everywhere now. Yep, it works. Now it's time to test this bad boy out on Tori. Tori Dabransky! I have surprise for you. Do you have? Oh, it's scary. I have surprise. Do you want to see it? No, what is it? You ready? What is it? It's surprise. Does it hurt me? No, it won't hurt at all. Okay, ready for your surprise? No, Robbie is ready. Right? <laughs> Your surprise is you get to vacuum later. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. Did you like surprise? Not really. <laughs> this everywhere. This is such a mess. How'd you do it? Did you just fill it with things and then you go boop? Yep. It works! It works, Tori! You can also use pencils in there. Oh my god, no. Here, let's do you have any? No. No. Let's fire a pen. Okay. Let's try it. Here, try launching it. Pull it in. It worked really good. <laughs> it was really fun. Good job. Good job. Woo, it works. Woo. Okay, boys, we got our steak. Ooh, that's a nice looking piece of meat. Now we're gonna try and torch this baby. I don't see why this one wouldn't work. I mean, it's basically the same thing as cooking a steak on a grill. Oh, that thing is sizzling. It's like popping. Okay, this is just a touch scary, guys. Can you eat like propane once it's like, can you eat this still? I feel like this is gonna set off my fire alarm. Okay, let's flip these bad boys over. Oh, that is not cooked on that side. Okay, now to cook the other side. I mean, it seems to be working fine. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just cooking my steak with a blowtorch. Yep, I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. Holy f Don't worry everyone, I was just cooking steak with a blowtorch. <sighs> okay, where was I? It it's working, see? <laughs> I don't know if it's like actually edible though. I mean, that was so like it's just propane, it's like the same stuff you use in your grill. It's getting so hot, it's melting the, the paper. Do you wanna try some of the steak, Tori? I wanna pass on it. You wanna pass on <laughs> eating the steak? I'm sorry, you gotta have it all for yourself. Oh, it happened again. Whoa. Okay, good thing we're almost done, guys. This looks uh, pretty good. Okay, so Eddie's a professional cook. What do you think about this? Looks medium. Looks about medium? Is that medium good? good? Yeah. Um, you'd eat that, right? I'm gonna try this. You wanna try this with me? Uh, I think I'll pass. Do you wanna try eating some of my steak? I'm good. <sighs> Come on, it's it's fucking steak. It's gourmet. I it. made it with a blowtorch. You're gonna lick it? No, mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna try eating this bad boy. Okay, boys, now it's time to try this beautiful steak. Ooh! It's cooked all the way through! Look at that! I mean, it's a little bit pink on the inside, but that's not bad. Yep, it's a steak. <laughs> it's a little bit chewy. It's not the best steak I've ever had. It's not bad, though, considering I cooked it with a blowtorch. Yeah, it's cooked just right, kinda. I mean, like I said, it is a little bit chewy. A little bit of red inside, a little bit of pink. I guess I'm gonna have to say it works! Okay, boys, now it's time to make a bottle funnel thing. So it looks like they did kind of like this bad boy, something like this, and then another bad boy like like this. I'm just making predictions here. I don't really know. Keep going like that. Oh, that's straight. Straight enough. So they used an X-Acto knife for this part, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a knife and also this blowtorch to heat up the knife to cut through it like butter, uh, as we learned in that one hack. I might have to get another blowtorch soon. I use this one so much. Okay, use the old-fashioned way and just cut it. Some of these crafts are so dangerous. Please don't cut off my finger. Okay, I don't need that anymore. Maybe if I heat it up with a blowtorch. Okay, it is bright red now. Please don't burn slash cut me. Okay, it's working. Woo! We did it! Then apparently you need to do something to like the edge right here for some reason. Oh god, I'm just scared I'm gonna melt it. I'm not even gonna bother with this part. Then I take the top off. I'm gonna use some prongs for this because I don't wanna touch this well, it's still hot. I gotta do this. Oh, this is so scary. Maybe I shouldn't use a blowtorch for this. I have returned with my lighter. Okay. This is a lot less threatening, and I appreciate this. Is it gonna work? I feel like I shouldn't use the pointy end. I'm sure with some practice, I might be able to get this one, but it doesn't look 
like it wants to work. I just need the tip, come on. Well, I guess that's all we're getting. Okay, so apparently then we just pull this over like this and then <laughs> it's not fitting. Well, I guess that works. This hack is so funny. It's like, hey guys, did you know that you can use a big Coke bottle to refill a little Coke bottle with a big Coke bottle? Honestly, this handle doesn't help at all. It would be better just to hold it down like this. Well, yep, it appears to be working. Now let's hope that uh, this isn't too much Coke. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, guys, it works. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna need the knife and my trusty dusty blowtorch. We're also gonna need one of these plastic bags. I don't even know why I bother getting the cutting board out because it's not long enough. I'm just imagining all the little kids being like, hey mom, where's the blowtorch? Kids, don't play with blowtorches. This is stupid. I saw a comment the other day. It was like, kids, don't try this at home. And then someone's like, okay, I won't do it at home. I'll do it at a park. <laughs> You guys are so funny. I don't know if it actually sealed or not. It is a little crooked. I will point that out. Woo, I can smell the plastic burning. I might have melted the countertop a little bit, but it, it's fine. I guess it's time to fill this fun bag up with soda. No, 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 no. This tried to explode on me. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than they made it look. Please don't spill. Oh no, it's leaking. Okay, so let's try another one. Oh. This one's also leaking. No, 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 no. I will try every single one of these until one works. Are you working? I think we may have just found ourselves a winner. Nope, this one is also leaking. Fourth time is a charm. I just cleaned this whole kitchen for the video. This one is also leaking. Fifth time is a charm. A perfect little spout. <laughs> Thank you to anyone who is watching this video who said bless you. So maybe the last one will work? I have faith in you. Come on, work, please. <gasps> Do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? Throw a little stick in there. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's toss this in the fridge. Actually, I'm gonna wrap this in napkins because I'm scared that it's gonna leak all over my freezer. My floor's so sticky. Put this in the freezer. I'm gonna go ahead and hide it in this little nook right here and hopefully no animals touch it. So this is our homemade Polar Pop. Let's see how it turned out. <laughs> this is so sad. Only this much of the Coke actually stayed inside of it. I guess that means that the rest of it is all inside my freezer. <laughs> oh no, it looks like I have a mess to clean up later. <laughs> This thing looks like a nightmare if it ever fell. I'm sorry, Tori. Yeah, we just lost Thomas. The clock fell on him. <laughs> oh no, poor Thomas. So we're gonna need another fork, because apparently these guys love abusing forks. So we bend it just like, thi like this. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten the forks from the dollar store. Bend this like this. Oh. oh, that's about to break. It goes onto this plate just fine, though, so I think that's all that matters. I actually don't have any stick candles, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this blowtorch to heat up the prongs really good, and then I'm just gonna take the cinnamon candle that I made for another craft and kind of just stick it on there and hope that that works. Uh, here goes nothing. Am I the only one who's kind of scared for my life here? Probably because you guys are behind the camera. Stick that on, hopefully it'll go in. Oh, I think it's working! I really can't believe that this is actually working. And we got it! We got ourselves a perfectly... Ah, oh, that's hot. We got ourselves a perfectly good levitating candle. Let's go ahead and light this bad boy. This is extremely festive. A good way to test this one is to get my water bottle, put some water in it. Good job. And if no water leaks out of it, we know it works. So let's try this. That didn't stay on at all. We're gonna try it one more time. Okay, I'm starting to think that I might actually have to get a mason jar. And we're back with our mason jar. This is my girlfriend's skull mason jar. Put the water in there. Awesome, the cup works. Let's hope it actually works this time. Nope. No, what am I doing wrong? Okay, so from the looks of it, I'm not supposed to release all the air from the top, I'm supposed to do it from the side. Oh, wow! Huh, it actually stayed on! Okay guys, now it's time for the real test. As per tradition, I'm gonna put it over my head and hope that it doesn't spill all over me. 
Am I good? Is it working? Oh my god, it's working! It's working! Woo! Guys, it works! It works! There's a real seal! You can use this as a real seal forever! And now my skull has a pirate hat thing. <laughs> it works! Woo! This life hack isn't body shaming at all. I love it. Okay, guys. So this is my tummy. It could be flatter, right? It could absolutely be flatter. So we're just gonna get our tape. And then her, we just, just like that. Do another piece. This is so ridiculous. I'm just putting tape on my back. It's good. Okay, did it do anything? I don't know. I feel like I look about the same. What do you guys think? Do I look the same? I feel like I look pretty much the same. So this is with the tape on me, and then this is without the tape on me. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this didn't work for me. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna give this a try with the lighter first, and then after that, we're gonna try the blowtorch. <laughs> really hope this doesn't shatter on me. Is it gonna work? This is so scary. It's just getting really black. Okay, apparently it might not have worked because I was holding it on its side, so we're gonna try and hold it on a table this time, just like it was in the video. Here we go, guys. Come on, heat up. I'm just hiding way down here, guys, so I don't get hurt. I'm not feeling too good about this one. I don't think this is gonna work, so I'm gonna try the blowtorch. Oh god. Oh god, I don't think this is gonna work, guys. Woo! It worked! Holy shit! It worked! Woo! We did it! Who wants wine? I don't drink. Oh, it's making a sound. You guys hear that? It's from where it's boiling, where it's hitting the bottle. That is so funny. Wow, it actually works! You just need a fucking blowtorch! Go ahead and use Tori's shoe for this because I'm the best boyfriend ever. Get the old toothbrush. Is that looking cleaner? I guess a little bit. It looks like I gotta get it really soapy, so I gotta put a lot on there. Okay, I scrubbed that pretty good. We'll just go ahead and wipe off all the toothpaste. Yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about this one. So this was what her shoe looked like before, and this is what it looks like now. I mean, I guess it's a little better. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, I don't have a tub with a lid, but I do have a Chipotle cup with a lid on it, and I guess that'll be close enough. Put our glue in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's some good stuff. All done with that. Add a little bit of water. Oh, I think I added way too much. Well, I guess that calls for more glue. Oh, man, yeah, I definitely put way too much water. I'm gonna go empty some of this out really quick. Okay, we're back. Poured some of the water out. I thought of a really good way of mixing it. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Uh, gross. Now we put our string in. I already know that this is gonna get so tangled. I hope this is worth it. I'm just gonna put like a hundred feet in there. Few inches later. Oh, this is getting so tiring. Oh my god, this cup of string has given me a great idea. Cup of spaghetti. Why did I never think of this? Oh wait, there's already something like that. It's called cup of noodles. Damn it. So much string, so little time. Literally have so much string in there that I have to put more glue now. Ugh. Okay, just like a toothpaste. Tube. Yeah, that should do it. Now that we're done with that, it's time to blow up our balloon. <gasps> that looks like a reasonable size. Put that through there. And now apparently you have a dispenser, like a Kleenex dispenser that dispenses glue string. Wow, this is actually kind of working. Oh man, it's get, starting to get so slippery. It is so odd how well this is dispensing. Okay, I will uh, show you guys this tomorrow when it's done. Uh, ah! Okay, it's the next day. I actually ended up moving this thing outside of my room because it was making creaking sounds in the middle of the night and uh, we thought it was possessed by a demon. So now we're just gonna pop this bad boy. Oh wow. That is kind of cool. What the heck? Dude, it's like snake skin. That's actually so cool. And there's a lot of dried glue on it, but I could clean that up. This is so neat. It's like a string ball and it's so solid. Like I could probably squish it, but I'd feel really bad if I did. This looks very artisan-y, I guess you could say. I don't know. I'm not sure what the use of this thing is, but it looks pretty cool. So I, I guess I'd have to say it works.
guys thought that the blowtorch was crazy. I can't wait to try this one. I just know for a fact if you try and fish something out of the toaster with a fork, you're gonna get electrocuted. So I feel like putting tin foil in the toaster isn't the best idea. But you know what? Five Minute Crafts has never let me down before. So I'm gonna put my full trust in them. There we go. Awesome, it's a perfect size for the toaster. Okay, so we got our steak, we got our toaster. I'm actually gonna hook this up to a surge protector because I don't trust it to not burn down my house. Okay, now we just put it in the toaster. I'm gonna put it on extra dark. And now we wait 10 minutes. This is so like disconcerting. I really hope this doesn't like burn down my house. I'll see you guys in 10 minutes or when this thing catches fire. No, 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 you're not ready yet. Okay, fifth time. Okay, time is up. Gonna fish this bad boy out. Oh man, okay. Ooh, it's dripping. It's a juicy steak. I'm gonna unplug this for safety. Let's go inside and unwrap this baby. <sighs> okay guys, now time to unwrap this baby. Oh man, ooh, it is nice and hot still. It doesn't look like it's all the way cooked. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, I think it still might be a little bit rare. Eddie, you're the cooking expert. What do you think of this? Looks better than the last one. Does it? Yeah. Would you eat this? Yeah. Okay, try it. Can you like eat it first and then- You want me to eat it and then I'll spit it in your mouth? Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, it tastes like tin foil. Oh. This is awful. Oh, ugh. I can't do it. I feel like I'm literally eating tin foil. I don't even want to put this in my mouth. It looks like it's not even cooked all the way. I think the tin foil melted onto my steak. Ugh. That's so gross. Does anyone want to try the steak? I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Sorry guys. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna need a big Coke bottle and a little Coke bottle. I haven't drinking all this Coke yet though, so. Oh, I really don't wanna waste it, but I really don't wanna drink this. Ugh. Okay, so first we gotta cut the big one in half. Ah! I just gotta put this in here, and I gotta put this stick through the plastic. How'd that make it look so easy? I'm good, I'm good. That was very close though. These crafts are so unsafe. Woo! Almost cut myself again. This is so dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my knife again. These just melt through. I don't wanna stab myself. Okay, that's a lot better. I'm gonna poke it through that hole right there. Uh, this is as good as we're gonna get, I think, uh, without me cutting off my finger. Cut this orange in half. Now we're gonna try and not get this orange in my cut because that's gonna burn really badly. Okay. I think it's working. It's actually working. This is so overly complicated. It would just be easier to like squeeze it yourself. I get so much more juice just doing this. This is our progress so far. This is really starting to make me appreciate all the work that goes into making orange juice. We only got that much out of this whole orange. I don't know if this works or not. I really don't think it does. All right, time to abuse some more forks. I know they used a couple spoons in the video, but I, I forgot to buy spoons. I don't think that's right. So we got our base fork like this, and we're gonna have another base fork like that. Hey guys, editing Robbie here. I just wanna know, what the heck is a base fork? Oh, I guess that's what that is. Can we make another one for the other side? Bend all these bad boys in. Oh, I think I broke his fingers. Yeah, that that should that should work. Oh no, I gave him two left hands. Okay, wait, never mind. I think I solved my problem. I just love blowing this little man. This is starting to look pretty terrifying. Sometimes I feel like Five Minute Crafts just needs to change their name to uh, How to Make Nightmare Fuel. Now we gotta give this guy some legs. I think he would stand up a lot better if we did it like if we did it like that. Oh man, this is starting to look so weird. Hot glue is cooled down. Let's see if uh, he stands by himself. Oh wow, he did it! Good job! I didn't think he'd actually stand by himself. That's crazy. Let's see if this guy will hold some salt and pepper. Okay, you can do it, little guy. I believe in you. Oh, sh I feel like he's struggling a little bit. Okay, so he's actually doing it! Well, congrats, little guy. You are now our new salt and pepper holder for the rest of your life. Well, keep up the great job! So this 
what looked pretty easy. It's just me putting a bunch of toothpaste in balloons. Yeah, these videos are just getting better and better. I tell you what, guys. Quality content. That's what I make. Quality content. Can't go to any other channel to see, you know, someone filling a balloon with toothpaste. Except for 5 Minute Crafts. I guess you could go there. But uh, why would you? Because you could watch me instead. Sorry, 5 Minute Crafts. This is a little gross. I'm just filling this balloon with toothpaste. Oh, man. This is gonna get everywhere. I already know it. Get in there. Dude, I go through so much toothpaste in every video. Oh, boy. This is so messy already. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm trying to figure out why you would want this. Oh. I could maybe see the appeal of this. Yeah. I could totally see maybe a little bit of appeal. Yeah. This is actually kind of gross. <laughs> it's like a stress ball. Does it bounce? I just feel like I have to wash my hands after this. I went ahead and washed it off because I hate it when stuff is on my hands. I know that stress balls are supposed to get rid of your stress, but I'm kind of getting stressed out just holding this thing. Anyway, I guess we can say it works. Okay guys, now it's time for the real stress test of the stress ball. I'm coming for you. Great, now look at this wonderful mess I get to clean up. Okay guys, now it's time for me to recreate the thumbnail. We got our balloon, we got our toothpaste. Uh, put it like that. Oh no, it's blowing the toothpaste tube back up. Okay, I think this is gonna have to work. I bought bananas for this, and uh, they're already kind of going bad. They didn't look like this when I bought them, I swear. I think they just got a little bruised. Anyway, apparently if you put tin foil all over the stem of it, it'll keep it fresh longer. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. Okay, I'll uh, show you guys the results in a couple days. Day two. Okay, so it's been about two days. Uh, this is how our bananas look. Oh, man. I'd say that they're both pretty equally messed up. They definitely look like they've aged a lot. Um, I don't think that putting tin foil on the stem really did anything. In fact, this one actually looks like it's even more messed up a little bit. Well, yeah, I'd definitely say that these are about the same. They both look like <laughs> they've gone through sh <laughs> I'm not to say this one's busted. Time to make some pancakes. So we grab our bowl. How much does it say that this needs? One cup of golden malted flour. I really don't want to make a whole cup of pancakes. This seems like it's gonna be way too much. Oh well. One egg. Three fourths a cup of milk. That's half. And I guess half of this, because I don't have a three fourths cup. And a tablespoon of butter. Mix, 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 mix the pancakes, mixing up away. Mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. I'm so gay. It's really gotta steer it up there. This is requiring so much mixing. I wonder if this funnel that we made earlier will work for pancakes. Well, only one way to find out. This is our oddly clean ketchup bottle. I feel kind of guilty because I emptied out all the ketchup in this, and it was pretty Pretty much full. Sorry roommates, I owe you more ketchup. This handle still sucks ass. So we'll try just a tiny bit. Oh sh Oh yeah, it's kind of working. It's just gonna take a really long time for it all to go in. Okay. This Try and fit this into this tube. It's kind of working. And this literally looks like a giant thing of mayonnaise. I kind of want to throw up. Yep, pancake batter definitely doesn't taste as good as regular cake batter. Well, I guess it's time to test this out. This is gonna be so weird. Butter, butter, butter. This is a no-stick pan with butter on it. There's no way pancakes are sticking onto this baby. Okay, so we'll just, uh, ready? Oh, that's not bad. It's kinda, that's pretty convenient. I could get behind this. And it clogged. It already clogged. Just little tiny pancakes like that. Oh no, this is gonna morph into a big one. I guess it's convenient if you make pancakes a lot. You can just put it in like a bottle and be like, well, I'll make it three pancakes today. All done. Just little tiny pancakes like that. Oh no, this is gonna morph into a big one. Ooh, these are not bad looking pancakes. You know what? I think I might be digging this. It looks like it works. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what putting toothpaste in your shoe is supposed to do, but we're gonna try it. Maybe it makes them smell better or something? I, I really don't know. So I'll put some toothpaste in one, no toothpaste in the other. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with the shoe with no toothpaste in it. Oh, yep, smells like feet. Now time to try this one. I mean, it still smells like feet, but with toothpaste added, uh... Hey, can one of you guys smell my shoes for me? Sure, bring him here. Okay, so I need you to smell this one first. Okay, it smells like a foot. That's what I was saying! Okay, now smell this one. This one does smell a little bit better, but I think it's because of the toothpaste. I think I'm just smelling the toothpaste. Almost exactly what I was saying. <laughs> Aaron, do you care to give my shoe a good smell? Give it a good sniff? Give, give my shoe a good sniff? It's, it smells like a shoe. Okay, we're gonna put that one down. Oh, sorry, Thomas. Okay, smell this one down. <laughs> it smells like a shoe with toothpaste. That's exactly what I was saying! <laughs> 
I think it's safe to say that this one is busted. Man, I tell you what, these life hacks are getting harder and harder to do. So first I gotta put a thumbtack in my paper. I mean, now I got two holes in my paper. Then I got my string. Slip, slip. Now apparently I should be able to draw a perfect oval now. Oh, thumbtack fell out. Grab my favorite pen. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, it flew out again. Oh, that just popped out. As you can see, it's working pretty good. Let's try with a different one, maybe. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect circle. Perfect ovals. Every time. See? It's a perfect oval. Don't like how big that one is? Let's make it longer, then, I guess. That's how it works. Oh, did... Why does that keep flying out? No! Uh -huh. Oh, my paper's so ripped now. So, I mean, it's kind of working. It's just a little bit impractical because now you have holes in your paper. So, I guess we could say this one works. Okay. Our new pillow. <laughs> you ever been like trick or treating? It's. <laughs> Let's see how Tori reacts to the new pillow. Tori Bransky, I got you a new gift. What is it? It's a new pillow. Why is only half of it filled? It's your new pillow. You want to try it out? Yeah, I can. Want me to lay on my floor? Lay on your floor. It's good. You like the pillow? I mean, it's not bad. I feel like you would like this. It's pretty firm. I have a confession. What? That pillow. <laughs> would you believe me if I told you? It's filled with trash bags. Yeah, I could hear it. I believe it. I mean, it's not bad for it being trash bag, but it's also not very good because now I have an indent where my head is and it's touching the floor. Wait, we need to do what the girl does. Hmm, it's so nice. Am I selling it? Oh, yeah. We just need a really hot girl to advertise our new pillow. Trash pillow. <laughs> So I don't have any of those dowel things, so I'm just gonna use this chopstick and uh, pencil that I found. We get our string, cut, cut. Oh, that kind of looks similar to what they made. Mine's a little bit askew, but I'm sure it'll do just fine. Okay, so I got my sticks, but it's so cold out here. I wish I had a jacket or something to keep me warm. Oh my gosh, thank you! Is this a peace love Wi-Fi sweater? My gosh, these are so warm and they're perfect for the winter time. Did you guys know that you could buy these? There's a link to all my merch and also stickers down in the description down below if you guys want anything. Okay, so let's try this bad boy. Yeah, get it nice and soapy and wet. I think it might be working. Ready? You ready? Oh no! Oh no! Whoa! Oh, it worked for a second! Oh, it kind of works! Wow, that's so cool! I'm gonna go get more soap. I'll be right back. Ugh, okay, put all that soap in there. Get it all bubbly. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. No, now it's too soapy! No, come on! Too many bubbles on the top of it. Little bubbles, why you gotta do this? <laughs> bubbles, you bubbles! You bubbles! Ew! I think I did it. Nope. Whee! I did it! There's a giant bubble! It works! Guys, it works! It actually, oh, it broke, but it works! Woo! So this is the last one. We're gonna need a tube of toothpaste. And I guess we just snip the end off. Then we grab our soap dispenser. I already cleaned it out. Hopefully I don't have any more soap stuck in this. <laughs> it doesn't really go on as cleanly as it did in the video. Maybe if I hot glue it on, that'll help. Okay, it looks great. Time to test this baby out. Okay, I got my dispenser and my toothbrush. Let's try this. Oh, that is definitely a lot of soap already. Come on, I need to brush my teeth. Okay, it's starting to work. It is a little messy though. It is coming out of the top. But it's working. Okay, that should be enough toothpaste for me. Now it's time to brush my teeth. A little soapy. Not bad though. This toothbrush, it really works miracle. Better put this back where I got it so I can use it for next time. So this one looks fun. So we got our paper, and we're supposed to cut like a shape like this on it for some reason. 
I feel like I'm not doing this right. And then we do this. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, I definitely messed that up. Ah! Oh no. Gotta make this tip nice and pointy. Glue that right there. I am the master of hot glue gun. I'm not gonna get burned today. Made ourselves a nice hat. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I mean, it's a little slanted. It doesn't look terrible though. Woo! We made a perfect cone! It's a green screen cone too! I'm gonna put it in a real Christmas tree. Boom! I don't even need to do the work! But just for the sake of the craft, I'm gonna finish it. So I wasn't sure how many spoons to buy, so... I bought 400 of them. I think I might have bought way too many spoons. <laughs> Well, I'll never run out of spoons ever again. Well, time for me to spend the next five hours gluing spoons to this thing. Oh wait, I'm supposed to cut off all the handles first. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do right now. One spoon down. Wait, oh, I was only supposed to do that much of the handle. Oops, well, gotta start over. It's a good thing I bought a lot of spoons. So it looks like it was more like right here. Back to square one. Oh, I think that should be enough. Now time to start gluing them on. First one. Wish me luck. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ow, 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 Okay, ouch. Gluing spoons to a big piece of cardboard. Ouch, that hurts. And I'm all out of spoons, time to make more. Time to open up another pack of spoons. Five minute crafts, more like an hour long craft. Jeez, I've been doing this for 20 minutes now. Okay. Got more spoons. I'm really glad that I didn't do a six foot one like I wanted to do. That would have taken so long. Ow, 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 fuck, ouch, ouch, ouch. I never want to see another plastic spoon in my life. Except for when I'm eating soup. Then I want to see one because then I'll need it. <laughs> now I gotta break even more. Woo, so many spoons. We're about halfway done. Hopefully more. Ow, fucking hot glue gun. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take a break really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, time to keep going. No. Ow. I'm not getting my deposit back. I got that hot glue all over my carpet. Oh man, gotta reload my glue gun again. Okay, I have to do one more set of spoons, hopefully. Here we go. You can hear these like flying super fast. Okay, hopefully this will be enough. So well. And then I put a little star on top. Perfect. Here we go. Um, oh, I need even more spoons, but I'm almost done. Okay, let's keep going. It's done! Now to paint it. Okay, so here's our tree. Here's our spray paint. Let's start. Wow, that's working a lot better than I thought it would. I have to make sure that I cover my mouth. <laughs> so many fumes in here. I'm gonna open up another door. There we go. It's weird how well this is turning out. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and I will be back. Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and touch some of these blank spots up a little bit. Okay, so I guess we're all out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry for a little bit and then we're gonna decorate this baby. Okay guys, here it is. Now for the fun part, decorating. Woo! Decorating the Craftmas tree. I'm just gonna weave it in and out of this thing. This actually looks kinda cool. Almost done. Woo! There we go. First set of lights is done. Now let's add the second set. Oh man, these are so tangled. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, oh no, oh, oh no. Where does it start, where does it end? Maybe if I just keep doing this, it'll fix itself. Uh. Oh my god. I'm gonna do it in the opposite direction. Okay, it looks like we're all good to go. Let's put some batteries in this baby. One, two, three, boop. Aw, I'm so nice. Oh no, I only have two batteries. Oh no. And one more battery. And three, on. Woo! I'm gonna turn off the lights. Oh, it's so cute, Oh, craft mystery, oh, craft mystery. Oh, how the glue gun burns me. I did it, I made a Christmas tree. You know what this thing's missing? Some bulbs.
Okay, so we got our pen, we got our lighter. We're gonna take our pen apart. Okay, I got it. Oh, and then I gotta get this side off. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna yell at me for using my teeth. Okay, take that off. And we're gonna put it right on this bad boy. And I'm gonna blow! I really hope this doesn't get everywhere when I blow on it. Okay. Uh, I think that's as much as I'm gonna get out of that. You guys ready to test this out? Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh my gosh. Maybe I have to take even more of the pen off. Oh. I don't think that any of it got on there. I'm a smart boy. Maybe I just had to put more of the pen ink inside of the tube. There we go. Okay, we're gonna try it again. It's still the same thing. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's working. Oh, nope. Hmm. Maybe try a little bit more. I'm gonna use my chopstick to put some of this stuff in. Oh yeah, that should be enough. Okay, just clog that little hole. And let's try it. Oh wow! <gasps> it's doing it! Woo! You guys couldn't see that, but oh, it works! That is so cool! Wow! I mean you can also make your flame bigger. I'm not gonna show you guys how. I feel like that's not allowed to be shown on the internet. But it works! Let's do some cool magic tricks! Did it work? I really hope that worked. Otherwise, if it didn't, I'm gonna look really stupid. <laughs> You know these kind of pranks? They're my absolute favorite. It really shows how much someone cares about you, you know? If you have a nail going through your hand and someone reacts like they're the one hurting, you know you have a good friend there. So we got our pens. Don't need that anymore. I don't even know what the f I would use this for. Just gonna take a couple of these bad boys. I gotta cut these somehow without them flying up and hitting me in the eye. Just the fact that needles are gonna be... <gasps> Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. That would feel awful if I've stepped on these things. I've stepped on so many thumbtacks in my life, like, you don't even understand. Do you think three is enough? Let's go for one more. Not only did I stab myself once in the hand with a pin needle, I did it three times, Tori. That's how big of a dumb f I am. Then we get our hot glue gun. There we go, just get that. Just like that. Apparently I'm supposed to be able to just put it on my finger and it won't hurt. Okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't burning me that awfully. Little dot, that's not bad. Oh, it fell off. I feel like I might need to put more. Okay, so that's one on there. This one's kind of harder than it looks, I guess. So I, I think I'm just gonna try and do just a bunch of them. Maybe I should get some parchment paper. Just gonna keep adding some hot glue to it, I guess. And then I'll glue this onto my finger. I feel like these need to be a little closer together. Oh no, it actually stuck to my finger. This looks like a decent little up, I guess. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the bottom part. Oh no, where'd the other needles go? That one's straight up like that. This one's like nightmare fuel. Where's the last needle? There it is. I need the last one right here. Come on, I can't even pick it up. Oh my god, that is scary. That's just in my nail right now. This looks so awful. And then little kids try these hacks? This sounds like terrifying. That's our bottom part. No, come on, stay up. So we got our bottom part and our top part all set. Now it's time to glue these babies out of my finger. Please don't burn my finger. Please don't burn my finger. I'm gonna move these needles in case I jolt and I go back. Then I'll have a needle stuck in my finger. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, that's uh, that's looking not awful. Okay, now we're gonna try the back one. Please don't be too hot on my nail. It's actually kind of stayed up. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks awesome. Oh gosh. Ah! Yep, it looks like uh, I successfully stabbed my finger. Now we gotta add the blood part. Oh my goodness. This is actually the same paint that I used for one of my other videos where I had my girlfriend do my voiceover and it was a prank. I'll show you guys a little clip really quick. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! Oh. This is so weird! Okay, now he's again. If you guys want to watch that video, I'm gonna go ahead and put a card to it right here. Yeah, so uh, this looks like it's all done. Let's test it out on Tori. Tori Dabransky! Help! I've stabbed my finger! Help me! I stabbed myself on the finger four times! How'd you do that? I did it! Why? It hurts! Help me! Help me get it off! Help me take it out! I need to go to the hospital! Oh no! Ow! Ow! I pulled all of them out! Time. Oh, oh, that looks like it's gonna be. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's paint. It's not dry yet. Yeah, yeah, it's. Oh, I mean, I'm bleeding. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I mean, it's blood. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do because this, I can't, I can't take, take it off. Take it off. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> it's on your nail, is it? <laughs> Just wiping all this blood on me. I can't take that one off because it's on your nail and I'm scared I'm gonna rip off your nail. No, I'm scared I'm gonna rip off my nail. Here, get it off, kiss it! Can you kiss it? Kiss it, Tori! <laughs> I got her! How is spooky and sweet Halloween treats a prank? Okay, so for this next one, I'm gonna need some lollipops, I guess tissue paper, some string, and uh, a marker. Just gonna go ahead and wrap it like that. Oh man, this is already so spooky. I can see how this one could be under five minutes. This is extremely simple though. I truly believe that this is a five minute crank. So these bad boys are all done now to give them all little spooky faces. Spooky little face. Look how spooky that is. They are gonna scare, oh, kinda looks like a KKK member. Okay, now time to test this prank out of my girlfriend. Tori Dabransky! Spooky! 
Are you scared? Let's get prank. Ooh, where are they? They're little spooky lollipops. Look at them. Do you feel pranked yet? Yes, this is such a good prank job. Is this your favorite prank I've done to you? Uh-huh. A fucking scrunchie? You made a fucking scrunchie out of hot glue? Isn't that gonna get stuck in your hair? I guess we'll freaking try it. <laughs> okay, so I got my hot glue gun and I got my glue sticks. I have a lot of glue sticks. Okay, so far it's turning out okay. And I just ran out of glue. I just wanna say that this video is not sponsored by Office Depot. Okay, it looks like I'm done. <laughs> Move it around a little bit, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. It is still, it is still hot. I have to just hold this thing until it's done? Like, what do I, what do I do? Oh, I'm getting so lightheaded. Okay, I guess time to pick it off. Oh, okay, so I'm picking it off and parts of the pencil are coming off with it, but you know, that's fine because no one's perfect. Okay, so there's definitely a lot of little pieces that came off the pencil. We're gonna glue these things together. Ah, oh, God, I could almost make this into a Robbie Burns himself with glue gun compilation. Okay, so it's attached to my finger now, and this is the end result. Looks pretty good, pretty uh, stable? I don't, I don't know. I feel like this is gonna break. Okay, so I guess the only thing that we can really do now is uh, try this out and give it to my girlfriend. Hey, Tori. Yeah, yes? I got you a gift. You got me a gift? What is it? Look at, here you go. Isn't it wonderful? What's on it? It's, uh, that's pencil pieces. Oh, okay. What do I do with this? I want you to try and put your hair up with it. Can you do that it for me? Get, it won't get stuck in my hair, right? Uh, I don't know. Okay. It worked in the video. Okay, looking so far so good. You're pretty damn cute. Oh. Did you break it? Yeah. You f***ed it up! I broke it. It wasn't strong enough. It didn't even break like where you like mended it together, it broke. Would you ever use this as a reliable uh, no. thing to hold up your hair? It, it, I could have even put it in my hair once. Okay, well boys, we know that this stuff doesn't work. Oh. Oh. <laughs> did was literally get wrapped in cellophane wrap, tape it together, and hang it up. Okay, looks like I gotta do this now. So for this, it looks like I'm gonna need a bunch of cellophane wrap and a bunch of tape. And also another person, because it seems like it would be really hard to do this by yourself. Troy Nebraska, I need your help! Oh, hi, kitty. Troy Nebraska, can you help me with something? Depends, what is, what is it? What do you got there? What oh, shirt is this? Do you like my cool pizza shirt? Guys, you can now get them now on my Big Cartel shop. Big Cartel forward slash Robbie. I also got this one for sale. It's pretty cool. It's a all over pizza pixel shirt. And it also comes in sticker form. Link down in the description down below if you guys want to buy any of this cool stuff. So Tori, what we're going to be doing right now is I'm going to be wrapping you in cellophane wrap and you're going to become a mummy. That doesn't sound fun. But it will be fun. For me, because it's a prank! Ha, you've been pranked! I don't know how the heck this is a prank, but uh, here, give me your arm. How do you do my face? We'll get to that point when we get there. Tori, no, this is a family-friendly channel! So apparently I just wrap it all around you. Ba -da -boo -boo. So you're gonna be giving it a big old thumbs up like this, just like you guys should give this video. Okay, just gotta assume that this is correct. Uh, now I gotta wrap you in tape. Keep your arm up. It's like I have a cast. I can hit things with this. Please don't hit me. That's my butt! Okay, so now I have to wrap your arm in this tape. I hope I have enough tape. <laughs> oh, stop, stop, stop. Now for the hard part, Tori. I gotta cut it off. Be real careful. Don't move. Oh my god, this is so scary. Stop! I don't move. I might cut you if you move. Ow, ow, ow. Robbie, you have to be careful. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Cut me. I'm sorry. Ooh, Can I kiss it? Cut me. I didn't mean to hurt her. Five minute crafts, why you do this? Okay. I'll slide my arm out. Ah! Okay. Get off. For the other arm, do you want to try my arm? So it'll just have two different ones. Get off. I'm almost back. Let me see it. Stop. Lori, I'm trying to cut it. Oh, it hurts with the scissors. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, that retained its shape really good. Sure, that's a thumbs up. Uh, then we just are supposed to tape it back together. I like how I still have the little tab little from tape. the tape on there. 
Okay, so you want to do my arm next, Tori? Be really careful. Why don't people just use this as casts? Oh, imagine how sweaty that would get, though. She's doing it. She's doing it. So much better at cutting this she did than it. you are. She did it. Oh, it's so sweaty. Let's tape it all back together. Two thumbs up. Oh, no. Did we use the same hand? No. Oh, that's so, it's like, Whoa! Muffle, 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 muffle. Should we do my body or your body? I mean, if you do mine, we'll have, they'll have boobs. That's fine. I like some boobs on my ghost. Yeah, it's I'm gonna go over your shoulder. Over your shoulder again. Okay, now time to try and cut this off. There we go. Let's take it off like a dress. Nom, 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 nom. I'm trying to eat you. So this is what Tori Dabransky is shaped like. One arm. It's like I'm grabbing for myself. Ah! Looks good. Now time for the legs. I'm spinning. I just stand like this. I mean, you don't have to put your shirt up. But Tori, they want to see my ass. Isn't cellophane wrap like one of the most stressful items you've ever encountered? I don't know. It just stresses me out. I'm Everything scared. stresses you out, Robbie. <laughs> this is going to be the newest fashion trend. I'm just going to wear cellophane wrap all over my clothes so they never get dirty. So we've been at this for about... Half an hour now. Definitely not a five minute craft. We're definitely not doing the thumbnail right now at all. I'm so sweaty. I'm so dizzy. I have no idea how they did this like, in five minutes for We can't even do one body part in five minutes. Each one takes like half an hour. I want to know how this is a prank. The prank is it doesn't take five minutes. Okay, we're done with my new pants. Look at his legs, they're so wonky. Okay, Tori, I'm going to blow this up. You tell me when it's about the size of my head. Keep going. Are you saying I have an inflated head? I don't know if these blues are gonna get big enough. This is gonna work great. <laughs> Can you hold it a little better? How do you expect me to do this? Oh no! Oh no, you trapped it! No! Put yourself in there! Oh, what if we filled it with helium? Then it would actually almost flow. <laughs> ah! Oh, time to pop it and hope that it works. Tori, this looks just like my head! Yeah, it's great. It just doesn't, it's like an alien thing now. Okay, then it looks like they added some weird cheesecloth to it. It's gonna be my new friend, Robbie. You're replaced. This is not my boyfriend. What? I've been replaced by my own creation! Isn't he so spooky? It looks like it's a veil now we're getting married. So beautiful, bye, foo. Okay, let's hang him up. My roommates are gonna be so scared by this prank. Where do I hang this? Maybe over there? Okay, Tori, we have a problem. You need to do it? I don't know if you'd be able to reach it. Ugh. Real careful. Isn't this so scary? So spooky. Oh, what a good prank. Goodbye, weird ghost lady. I gotta do more crafts. I mean. Okay, so we gotta get our crayon. Good, good. Then we get our bowl. Gotta take this thing off. Ooh, that was easy. Okay, so maybe let's try purple. Maybe purple wasn't a good idea with this blue background. So we'll start with uh, orange first. Okay, so try this little orange. Break that in half. I just put this in here. So I don't have a heat gun, but I do have a blow dryer. It's close enough. <laughs> what? Yeah. It'll explode if it gets too hot. Okay, maybe I'm gonna put this thing on. No, come back. You can start melting anytime now. Okay, I've been doing this for five minutes and uh, there is no sign of it melting. Oh, it looks like it melted a tiny bit. Maybe I should bring out the blowtorch. I'm gonna get some nerdy glasses. Okay, I found some. Perfect. I'm gonna wear these nerdy glasses to protect my eyes. Okay, let's try this again. Hold it just like that. Get our blowtorch. Oh, that's doing it. Oh, no. It's all smoking up inside. I think I might have gotten it a little too hot. That's kind of cool though. Wow. That's kind of neat. Woo. Kind of working. Dude, that's so cool. Now this is how you get done. Oh man, it smells like burnt crayon in here. How hot is that? Ouch. I need to get this off somehow. Maybe scissors? Oh no! It got everywhere. There's melted crayon everywhere now. I gotta get another color before it's too late. Okay, just put a blue in. How do I do this without destroying my hand? I got it. I'll use my beanie. Perfect. This beanie has my blood, sweat, tears, and now crayon in it. Oh, okay, come on. Oh, got it. Yep, it's all over my beanie now. Okay. Use the old blowtorch again. I only need it for like a second. Woo! Oh man, that works like a charm. I think I might have gotten it a little too hot because now it looks like it's like burning. Come on, you could do it. Just try to make it switch. No, I think it needs to be hotter. Man, there's so much smoke coming out of it. That ought to do it. Oh no, it's all black. Kind of just wag it around a little bit. Tori, isn't that cool? There's smoke on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make another Don't one. Don't like the color of your Christmas ornaments? Just put crayons in them and melt them. Thanks, Five Minute Crafts. You're the best. Okay, put that in there. Okay, that should do it. Just wiggle it around. I think it's working. It's just very black. You can do it. I believe in you. Crayon. There you go. And another. We'll do it with a white crayon this time. This is gonna look so bad with the white. It's gonna be all black and white on the inside. There you go. 
I think as long as I keep moving it around. That should work. Woo! It's working. I just have to keep moving it around. Oh, there we go. Next one. Wait, you need clear ones as well? Oh, you are? Okay. Oh, that's smart too. That would probably be smarter than this. Yeah, the boiling water would have worked a lot better than this toy to brass. One more for good measure. Oh no! Just kind of wave it around like an idiot. You can do it, crayon! There we go! Don't they look beautiful? These are my beautiful Christmas ornaments. I mean, they ain't pretty, but it looks like it works! Okay, so I don't have any of the things to actually put the bulbs on, so I guess I'll just string it on the lights, I guess. I don't really know. Oh, yeah, perfect. I'll just take this off, and then I'll restring it like that. Aha! Uh -huh. Go! I got it. So I'm just gonna take this top off, and then I'm gonna string it through the Christmas lights, and then through the top, and back on. Woo! One down! Woo! Yeah, that looks pretty good, but how could we make it better? <gasps> I know! We need a star! Okay, boys, now it's time to have some fun with some pasta. Woo! Penne pasta! So we have to make a star. So I guess we'll start by doing this. Boobity boo. Boobity boo. Woo! We just made the point. I gotta make the rest of it. I should have probably done this on parchment paper because now it's gonna stick. I'm a smart boy. Boobity boo. Just like that. Oh yeah, that's definitely stuck to the paper. Oh no. Any parchment paper. Ow! Ah! Get, get out of here. Just get. Oh, just... Okay, so we're gonna start from square one. So we just, uh, so we go, and we put it like, oh my god. Okay, so we start. Get off of me! Okay, so we start like this. We gotta wait for these boys to go together. Oh, stay together. Stay together, stay together. There we go. And then this side. Oh no, it's like this. This one to this one. This one to this one. I think that's right. No. It's like this. There we go. Like that. And then this one to this one. Wait, is that right? I don't think. How does. No. What? Anyway. So next one. Boop, boop. If you ah! If you like hot glue and macaroni. God, ah! cut that out. That was awful. Ah! Ah! Me. Ah! Using the click. I'm not crying. You're crying. I don't think this is right. So it goes up and then down and then out and then down and then this one. Get off of my finger. Then this one has to attach like that. This one to this one. I'm doing really good at making the star. Ow. I have hot glue all over my finger. Oh wait, no, that's just burnt skin. Okay, right there. Just dip that in. No. Why did you detach yourself? Why do you do this? You're tearing me apart, Lisa. Ow. Lisa. Ow. Wah wah wah. I hate this. Here you go. Crafts, crafts. I love crafts. Yeah, that looks uh. That looks great. I love how I have to keep moving this because I keep moving it. No, you're supposed to stay together. Stay like stay together, please. I just need you guys to stay together. <sighs> what am I doing wrong? Oh, there's one more side. That Dang. explains so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this one. Doing pasta crafts is hard. That looks great. Just sprinkle all the hot glue all over it. Just at the edges. There we go. All over it. That should keep it together, right? Just put it all over that star. Then I gotta get the other macaroni and then attach them like that. There you go. Just like that. And then uh, one right there. Go. You guys just need to move together, okay? And then one in like that. And then another one like that. And just put a bunch of glue to keep it all together. This has to do something, right? If I just cover it in glue, maybe that'll do something. Do your magic, hot glue. Yeah, that looks exactly. Exactly! Ah! Yeah, that's exactly how it does in the video. Perfect! I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit, and then I'm gonna take it off and put it on our Christmas tree. Okay, it looks like we're all dry. Now we're gonna go ahead and peel it off. It's perfect! I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off some of the extra glue. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this looks great. Come on. Oh, get off of there. Okay. There's so much hot glue on this. Oh no, I just broke it. <laughs> our star looks so messed up. <laughs> Oh my god, this thing looks so messed up. Okay, let's put it on our tree. Now we got our star. Now let's add the star. Oh, crap this tree. Oh, crap this tree. Oh, how the glue gun burns me. Is that gonna do it? Is that gonna make it stay? Well, I'm all out of hot glue, so let's hope that this works. I have just a tiny, tiny bit left inside my glue gun, so I'm just gonna... Woo! I did it! This is my crap mystery! Merry crap miss, guys! So I guess we can say this works! I'm actually really excited for this one because when I was younger I went to Disneyland and I got a pack of fake smoke where he did this and this is basically the same thing Anyway, I really hope this works because I just think it would be really cool. So we're gonna take the matches out. Oops <laughs> We have to rip off the side box thing and then we have to light it on fire This is definitely gonna set off my smoke alarm Apparently just like the burnt part is the part that like makes the smoke I guess I don't really know. Ow. I'm gonna go put my fan on. I'm hoping that that's gonna work so that my smoke alarm doesn't go off You can do it light on fire burn baby burn. Why is it a burning? What the heck is going on? I think maybe I'm 
supposed to burn it like this? Why isn't it saying lit? I've never had such a hard time burning something in my life. Okay, maybe that's enough. Oh, now it won't go out. Okay, then apparently we just kind of take the stuff that was underneath it. I don't get it. Nothing's happening. It's not working. Maybe I'm supposed to burn it on a plate. I'm gonna go get a plate really quick. Okay, I got my plate, and we're gonna try this one more time. Okay, so in theirs, they actually made it facing down, and they did like a tent thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. Woo! Maybe that'll work. It's working! It's actually burning! Burn, baby, burn! Burn, baby, burn! It's working! It's working! Now I gotta keep waiting. Keep burning, little one. It just needs help. Ooh, baby, it's burning, burning. Burn, burn, burn. This Tori, what's something funny to go with that? You go burning everything. We burn every day. That's a good one. I like that. Tori writes all my jokes. La, 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 la. Burn and burn and burn and burn. Okay, that looks pretty uh, sufficiently burned. Apparently, we just pull all this to the side. Okay, I hope I don't get burned. Oh, it's sticky like the stuff from Disneyland. Could it be? Oh, it's working. It's actually working. Can you see it? I can see it. Why isn't my camera picking it up? It's actually working. What? Now stop working. Why isn't it working anymore? It did work though, guys. It did work. Guys, it freaking works. What? How do I make it do it more? Why isn't it working anymore? No! You can do it! I'm gonna try and get a little bit more so that I can show Tori. Tori, you wanna see? I'm making smoke. One second, one second. Okay, that should be good. Okay, ready? So I got this stuff, and then... It was smoking before! It made smoke out of my fingers! I'm not a crazy person! Uh -huh, Robbie, are you sure it made smoke? Tori, it made smoke, I swear! Uh -huh. I'm not crazy! I'm not crazy, I'm just crazy for you! Tori! If you have to believe me, Tori! You have to! Tori, why don't you believe me? If you don't believe me, I'm breaking up with you! Uh, what? You gotta tear me apart, Lisa! Well, it looks like I have more time for my craft! Okay, so for this, we're gonna need a cup and a straw. We're also gonna need some fishing line. Okay, so I guess we just string this through the straw. There it is, haha! -ha. I'm gonna put a tiny slit in the straw so that I can tie a knot and it won't escape. And we're gonna go ahead and cut that. Put that in the little slit right there. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go, perfect! Now we put that in there. It works! I got enough off so that I can attach it to my shirt. Do I have a safety pin or something? Ow! I was digging through my pins and stuff and one just went to my finger. Ow! Got one! Okay, the tiniest little safety pin. Chris will never notice it. Through the hole. Yes, perfect. Snip, snip! Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna attach my shirt. Boop! There we go. Uh, I think it might be a little long. I'm just gonna cut it even shorter. Okay, cut this even shorter. Aha! Flip it on me. Okay, it's perfect. Chris will never see it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it works! Okay, now time to test it on someone. Hey, Chris! You wanna see a, you wanna see a magic trick? Sure, yeah. Okay. See this straw? I'm gonna make it levitate. Whoa! It's good? Yeah, that's cool, man. He loved it! They have a shirt here. I have no idea what they're gonna do with this. Just kidding. I do know, because I've already watched this whole video. Okay, now it's time for me to make a pretty great handmade t-shirt like this. <laughs> oh, okay, so I got this uh, kitty Justice League <laughs> subscription box t-shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and write my very special message on the back of it. Okay, so first we gotta lay out our t-shirt, then you gotta put the cardboard inside of it. A lot of people, they like to do it the old-fashioned way by actually shoving it in like this. However, I find it much easier to just put it on top and go... And then uh, it, it just magically appears in there. Okay, now for my message that I'm gonna put on the back. Uh, I gotta think of something really good, something really thought-provoking, um, something that just says this guy knows what he's doing. This glue gun is gonna give me ligma. And uh, there we go, we're all done. Uh, I love- Let's see if I can fix that for you. I love men! Really have to make sure that I blow the men because they're just uh, a little bit wetter than normal. <sighs> So from the looks of it, they used one of these sprayable water bottles and some fabric paint that they just put in there with the water. Okay, let's see. Uh, red's a good color. I think that'll um, really help signify my message. I don't think I really need a lot of this. Okay. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, now we just uh, apparently... I think I want it a little bit darker than this. Squeeze some more in there. Oh, God. Arts and crafts! 
I really don't know how well this is gonna work. Maybe sprinkle a little bit of this uh, black on there. There we go. Yes, this will really show how much I just love men. Do I rub this in? I feel like I'm not supposed to rub this in. It's art! It's comprehensive art! Yep, I definitely fucked this up. I feel like it looked cooler the other way. Cool. It looks like I'm done! Okay, now all we gotta do is wait for this paint to dry. Okay, I think this should be dry by now. Okay, let's see how this turned out. Just gotta peel the glue off. It doesn't seem to want to really come off of the shirt. Who would've thought? Uh, this looks like it turned out great. Kinda stuck to the cardboard behind it a little bit. There we go. I love men. Time to try this bad boy on. Oh, okay, Tori, what do you think about my t-shirt? Do you like it? <laughs> it looks like it says, I love me on it. What does it actually say though? It says, I love men. My goodness, Robbie. I really don't like this shirt at all. <laughs> Okay, so this one's very similar to the knife prank that I did a while ago. If you guys want to check that out, click right here. But it's basically the same thing, only with a screw. So I guess our first step is to break the screw in half. See if I'm strong enough. Ah, uh, oh, man. I'm not strong enough to break it in half. What the heck? It just doesn't want to break. I'm bending it. Ah, oh, I did it. I bent it in half. Oh no, it's kind of bent. That's not good. Well, good enough for government work. Dude, this looks so ridiculous. Well, uh, it's time to test it out. Tori, help me. I accidentally fell and I put a, a screw through my phone. Is that a worm? Is that a worm? No, it's a screw. Oh, it's a screw. I put a screw through my phone. Oh no. It went through my phone and, oh, no. Uh, oh wow, it broke off. Wait, you wait, fixed wait. it. No, Tori, we're supposed to make it better. Make my phone better. Look, it, it went through my phone. Oh no. Robbie, what, why did you do this to your phone? I fell and it just, it protected my leg and, I oh, fixed it for you. You fixed it. You're the best girlfriend ever. Thank you for fixing my phone. I love you. Goodbye. Do you want your screw? I fixed your screw too. It's, it's just, it's good as new. <laughs> you can, you can keep this to remember me. Bye. I remember you, bad. What do you mean? Okay, I gotta go. Goodbye. Socks off. Okay. I gotta get up on the sink. Ow. Oh, that's really hot! Ow, ow, ow! I don't know why I couldn't just put them in the bathtub. Ow, ow! Oh, I got my ass all wet. What am I supposed to do? These are my only pair of jeans. Okay, so now I gotta grab the. Now I'm just supposed to put this on the back of my neck. Different. Although I didn't have a headache in the first place, so I, I can't really tell you if it worked. Wait, Tori, I need you to give me a headache, Tori. Here, just punch me in the face with your with your girl hands. Oh, ah, ah, ah. oh. yeah, I got a headache now. Thank you, Tori Dabransky. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that this works. Thanks, Five Minute Crafts. You're the best. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna ask my cute girl. She wants cute pick. Wants cute pick? <gasps> she said yes! Time to send her cute pick. <laughs> and now I gotta take the cute pick. <laughs> Look at these beauties. Oh my gosh. That's cute pick. I'm going to send to cute girl now. Hey, cute girl. Did you like my cute pick? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I know it's so good. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome, cute girl. You can keep that cute pick. Now, I expect cute pick in return. Okay, let me go take it. <laughs> oh, you're taking cute pick now. How do I do it? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh my god, do I cute girl oh, pick? Did I do good? Oh my god, what's cute girl pick? Wow! You did such a good job.
Okay guys, so I was originally gonna film this video and try and give myself a splinter, but something really incredibly convenient? I don't wanna say convenient, cause it's kinda fucked up. Anyway, I got my friend Chris here, and he got himself a splitter. Look at that thing. Yep, that's a that's a genuine splitter right there, if I ever saw one. Chris, does it hurt? No, it's not that bad. We can pull it out though now, that'd be, that'd be good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I took all this time to set up the shot so that it would look nice, so that I could pull this splitter out of your finger, and now I'm just talking about it. I'm sure you're in immense pain right now. Anyway, we don't have a bottle thing, to like pull it out, but we have this uh, Coke bottle, so let's hope it actually, does it feel like it's working? No. Okay, let's get something smaller. Uh, let's, oh, that's uh, a good idea. I'm gonna draw where the splinter is, perfect, and then I'm gonna use a pen cap to try and get it out. Did it work? No. It Oh, that's a that's a actual splinter, my friend. <laughs> well, congratulations, you have a splinter that is the spawn of Satan. Um, let's see, what else can we use? Can we let's let's try this pen cap, baby. Okay, so we got it like that. Now we're gonna. Oh, did I just easy, put it in more? Easy, easy. <laughs> okay, here, we, Chris, does that hurt? No. All I did was Aww. get more ink on you. <laughs> Dude, I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, I don't think so either. Well, thank you so much for letting me do surgery on your finger. Wait, did I do surgery on your finger? What is this even considered? Okay, so Chris, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the splitter out for you using my trusty dusty pliers. Oh, thanks. Maybe I should have sanitized these first, actually. <laughs> out of here. <laughs> I need to sanitize my pliers first, okay? It's not a proper video unless I use a blowtorch, okay? Okay. Does that look sanitized to you? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let me see that hand. Say, tell me if it hurts, okay? That's Mother- <laughs> That's hot. Oh, it's hot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's Was it hot? <laughs> I'll just blow on them. You know what? You want to try and get it out yourself, Chris? All right. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's, dude. It's okay. Scared. Ah, holy- Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I, I feel like it- I use my hands. <sighs> Oh, that Holy, hurt. Oh my god. Life hack, use your hand. Do I have to censor out the blood? Well, maybe. Just put a happy face over it. There it is. Thanks, Chris, for helping me edit this. Done. He, he helped me. Oh, you got blood all over my place, man. Sorry. Also kind of a doozy. Okay, got my mitt. Mm, let's try this. Do little dots like she did. This is gonna completely fuck up the oven mitt, but you know, we have to make sacrifices sometimes. You'd think that I'd be used to the smell of hot glue by now. Oh, I'm getting to that awkward part where I have to use another glue stick. Okay, all good. Now I'm gonna try and put this on Thomas. But actually, on second thought, I'm gonna wait for this to cool down. I don't think he'd be too happy if I put this right on him. <laughs> I'm sure Thomas will love this. So we're just gonna, you like that, Thomas? Thomas seems like he really enjoys, is it working? I should, probably should have used a different color because it's it's black on black. No, Thomas, I need a pen. Thomas, no, come back. Thomas, no, come back. I need to test this on you. I'll just try it on my girlfriend. <laughs> Don't worry, Tori. It's just going to be one pet, okay? Does that hurt? No. Do you like it? No. Is it good? No. I mean, there's a little bit, but you would have gotten that if you would have just pet him without ruining the glove with this hot glue. <laughs> Okay, this magic trick looks easy. All I need is a cup and some scissors. Poke that cup. Oh, shit. I don't think that Chris will ever suspect this one. Does it work? Ooh. It's working. You can't tell that my finger's holding it up at all. Now for the real test, boys. Hey, Chris. You want to see a magic trick? Sure. I'm gonna make this cup float. You ready? Yeah. Ooh. It's magic! Dude, that's... It's good? That's sick. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that trick. Thanks. Okay. Uh, he loved it! Now, apparently, you can use hot glue as an eraser. I don't know how true this is. I don't know how well this is going to work. So, I guess, let's try it. Okay, so let's start off with this uh, coloring sheet that I got from the dollar store. Okay, just gotta write something. Okay, so I'm gonna try this first line with the regular eraser. Great, working pretty good. Can, you can still see the eye, but you know, that's gonna happen. I love men, I love men. Okay, so that's with the generic 
pencil eraser. This is a Dixon Tchikurugama. I never quite uh, figured out how to pronounce the name of these pencils. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this pencil eraser that we used in, uh, <laughs> you know, that one part of the video, uh, some more life, uh, a new meaning to life. Just like that. I strongly feel like this isn't going to work. Get a big old glob of it. There you go. That should be more than enough. Wait for this to dry a little bit. Okay, now it's time to test this bad boy out. Okay, so it looks like we have some progress with the eye, but uh, now there's hot glue all over this paper. That uses a lot of hot glue to erase anything. You need to like scrape the hot glue off. Okay, so it appears that um, this eraser does not love men. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna be bringing back my old craft convention shirt. Yep, there it is, signed by Five Minute Crafts themselves. Unfortunately, the hack that I tried to use to get the signature off didn't work. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some foundation on it, and uh, maybe this one will work. So it's nice, let's smear it in there. Oh, I need shaving cream, oops. I'll be right back. Lucy, I'm home! Here's our shaving cream. Stuff to put it on there. That should be more than enough. <laughs> put it in. Yep, scrub, scrub, scrub. I really hope that this works because I'm getting the foundation all over my shirt. Magic shaving cream! Okay, now that my hands are all covered in shaving cream, what are the next instructions? Oops, I'm supposed to use a sponge! Okay, we got a sponge! Ugh, gotta get the shaving cream off my hands. Oh no, I got the foundation on there too! Oops! <laughs> Let's go ahead and try this again with a sponge. Yeah, to scrub it all in there. Uh, oh yeah, that stain's still pretty stuck in my shirt. Ah! Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. And throw it in the washer. Oh, forgot my laundry. And small like my dick. Start. Okay, sure, I'll see you when you're clean. Okay guys, here's our shirt. Let's see how it turned out. Oh no, the stain's still there. What are we gonna do? Five Minute Crafts, how could you do this? You've never let me down before. No, my son, Five Minute craft shirt. Well, I guess this one doesn't work. <laughs> Oh no, I got even more makeup on it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and finally, boys, the last one. Who needs to go out and buy yourself some Gucci slides when you can go ahead and do this? <sighs> I'm glad I have a lot of hot glue. I guess I'll just mark with permanent marker around the outside. These are gonna look so freaking bad. Cut the outline. Okay, now to cover these things in glue, I guess. I'm gonna go through so many glue sticks doing this. I think this might be melting the wax paper. Start filling it in, I guess. And that's my second glue stick. Now I guess I'll start on the top part thing. Ah, I burned myself again! Who knew that doing shit with hot glue guns would take so fucking long? Okay, so it's been a sec. I feel like this has solidified. Again, I'm gonna try and take off the wax paper. I don't think that's gonna happen. I feel like the wax paper actually burned to the hot glue. Okay, so I am just gonna give up on peeling off this wax paper cause it definitely does not wanna come off. Kinda hot glue gun this thing onto this thing. I don't like this at all. This is awful. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I think I might've cut it a little too small. I don't think my foot's gonna fit in this. Okay, now I'm just gonna reinforce the outside of this a little bit. Oh! Ah! I have so much, oh! Okay, so here it is. You got yourself a really pretty looking sandal. I'm gonna see if it fits. Look at that. Oh, I should have made it bigger. Oh, man. Okay, so thoughts on this. Is it worth it if you don't have flip flops and all you have is a ton of hot glue? No, not at all. It's not worth the time. It's not worth the money you spent on the hot glue. It's not worth the third degree burns that you get while fucking doing this. This is awful. My poor finger. Look at, kiss it, kiss it. <laughs> So this one confused me a little bit. Am I supposed to eat the strawberry after it's bleached? I feel like I'm not supposed to because that would be really dangerous. So we got our cup, we got our bleach. Why can't I open this? Is there instructions on how to open this? Tori! 
Do you know how to open bleach? Oh, never mind, I got it. It was just really stuck. So we put our bleach in the cup. Then we just drop our little strawberry in there. Now I just sit and wait. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little stopwatch right here so you guys can see the time. Okay, I will see you guys when uh, this is fully white. Okay guys, we're at about 13 minutes and uh, it's still not completely white. It's starting to turn a little bit white. Um, still waiting though. I'll be back. Okay guys, we're at about 21 minutes and it's still not 100% white. I mean, we got a little bit of white on this side. I feel like this is gonna take a long, long time. And ain't nobody got time for that. So since it's starting to turn white, I'm gonna go ahead and say it worked. Okay, easy peasy. I'm gonna go get some lumber. Here's some leftover two by fours from my craft table. Then we get our wire. Cut that. Yeah. And we just, come on. I think I'm supposed to use different wire for this, but this is what I got, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put this off to the side for now. We grab our little nail, get our pliers. Maybe if I just do this against the wood. Ugh. It's actually bending. Woo. Okay, almost. No, the pliers. I'm so inept at using tools. There we go. Yeah, that looks like it'll fit in our drill. And we just, uh. That's kind of scary. Put that back in there. Put it together like that. Hook it in there. You guys ready? Oh boy, that didn't work. Uh, I think I'm gonna need a bigger nail. Ooh, I got Big Papa here. Just gonna put it like that. We're gonna try and bend this bad boy. I hope I can actually bend this. Okay, so twist. Maybe if I get a hammer and just uh... Why does life have to be so hard? I'm just trying to wrap wire around this wood. Why does this have to be so difficult? Hmm, maybe I need more pliers? Okay, so for this, I'm breaking out the vice grips. One on here, one on here. Oh, it's too loose. That should be good. Put it right there and clamp it. Let's see if it works. And I'm breaking my vice grips. I'm not strong enough. I really hope this nail doesn't fly up and hit me in the face. <sighs> Why is this so difficult? So I got my clamp and I'm gonna try and clamp the nail to this table and then bend it using my hammer. Let's hope this works. Okay, let's hope this bends it. Put that down real tight. Oh, that nail's going nowhere. Woo! I did it! I messed up my table a little bit, but sacrifices had to be made. Okay, let's try this again. Ouch! Ooh! I got drill burn. Ouchies. Get out of here, I, I don't need you. It works! My wood is binded together! I have solid wood! It's perfect! I guess we can say it works! Okay, we got our glue guy. We got our string. First we put the string on the hot glue like that. Then I have to take this one out. Sorry about that. And then this goes in here. Something about this just yells dangerous to me. Is it coming out? Is it gonna work? Dude, I'm just getting hot glue everywhere. I'm gonna put it on parchment paper. There we go. Uh, oh. Okay, good enough. Then we take my phone and we wrap it in parchment paper. Oh boy. I gotta do it a little bit more carefully. So I guess like that. Oh no. I need tape. Okay, I'm back with tape. Okay, Good job. now we gotta put this over here and this over here. I hope that stays. Oh man, this is crazy. Uh, there we go. Get in there. Yeah. No, it came undone. Okay, we're gonna try this. So this is my actual phone uh, that I use on the daily basis. I hope it doesn't pick it up. So I have to make the string come out somehow. Why isn't the string coming out? The string's not coming out. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, now all the glue's stuck in there. I have to get the glue gun out. Uh, get my pliers, baby. Oh, what the f is this thing? That's not good. Uh, Put this right on there. And hope that that sticks on there. Still not sure what I'm supposed to do with this. Let's hope that's not important. Okay, get in there. Just shove it in there with the pliers. Be nice and gentle. Oh, <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? Okay, let's see if we can make the string come through. String, where are you? It's not working. No string is coming out. No string is coming out. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. This is quite the predicament. So I went through one whole glue stick. Uh, I'm gonna try this again with another glue stick. Maybe if I... Oh, I actually went through a whole glue stick. So I'll try this again with this. Maybe put that in there. I'm just gonna melt it in there. Just gonna put that string in there. Maybe this will work this time. Okay, now get out of there. Put this one in. Is it going through? Dude, it's still not coming out. I'm wasting so much hot glue. Come out. Come out. Come on, string. I believe in you. I did not think that this one would be this hard. I hope this doesn't break my glue gun. Okay, let's try this one. I'm going through the second one now. You can do it, glue gun. I believe in you. You can do it. I believe. It's getting clogged. I'm hoping that means that the string is coming out. That's string. It does just not want to come out. I don't know, guys. Oh, the string. Oh, ow, ow! The string has touched my hand. Maybe I gotta help it. 
You can do it. Oh. This is probably so stupid. I hope I don't get electrocuted from this. Can I get electrocuted doing this? It does not want to come out. Oh, that did not work at all. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to say that this one doesn't work. I couldn't even get the string through the f***ing hot glue gun. Oh, wait. That's my phone. Oh, no. It doesn't work. Okay, let's try this out. Get my tripod. This is my shirt. As you can see, it's very wrinkled. Hang that up there. Uh -huh. Woo, boy. Get our blow dryer and we're good to go. Is it working? I know this works with my hair. If I blow dry it, sometimes it goes straight. Blow, blow, blow my shirt. Blow my shirt, I am. Blowing, blowing, blowing my shirt. Yeah. I'm a pizza man. You have to blow dry it so much just to get the wrinkles out. This is taking forever. Oh my gosh. I was only doing that for two minutes? What? I felt like it was forever. I mean, I guess it does look a little bit less wrinkled. I'm sure if it kept going, it would have worked, but I just don't have the attention span for this, guys. <laughs> So first, we're gonna need a drawer. This one works. Now we need a piece of wood that we can cut down to the shape of this. Here we go. Oh, this one has some stuff in it. Let me get that out really quick. Whoa. Don't need that. I actually found this piece of wood in the middle of the desert and it was already perfectly painted and everything. How convenient is that? Now we mark how narrow and we mark where we're gonna cut it. I'm actually gonna have to cut this again, but I'm just cutting it down to size so that I have a general idea of what I need. Clamp this down. Good, good. Now it's time to cut this bad boy. First cut down, more to go. Woo! Nice and dusty, just how I like it. Uh, I think I might have made it a little crooked. Okay, let's see if this fits. And it looks like it's close, but no cigar. Now I'm gonna mark again where I gotta cut it. Get this to make it straight. Oops, I bumped the marker when I was writing it down. Now it's all crooked. Oh, no! Oh, that is definitely not right. Okay, one more time. Cool. Okay, let's try to cut this again. I'm getting so covered in wood chips. Woo! One side down. Woo! Now let's hope I cut it right. Now, theoretically, this should go right in there. And almost. Awesome! It fits! Now how do I get it out? <laughs> I think I need to cut a little bit more off the edges or sand it or something. I'm gonna try sanding it. Maybe it'll work this time. And... Woo! It fits! Oh wait. It's still a little hard to get out. I'm just gonna straight up cut it. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Oh no. I accidentally went back and then I cut it. Do I just, oh, man. Oh, I just hit myself in the eye. Why am I not wearing safety glasses? Ow, I really got myself in the eye. Oh. Ow, that really hurt. Ouchies. You can see where it hit me on my eye. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna go get safety glasses. So, okay, we're back and I cleaned out my eye. It's kind of red and it hurts a lot and I'm gonna wear these glasses from now on. I'm like a nerdy carpenter. <laughs> Woo! Dude, I can't believe I messed it up this bad. I had it so perfect before. Okay, let's see if it fits this time. And, okay, so there's a gap on the side, but you know, it's whatever, it doesn't matter. Just pretend that's not even there. So I don't have quirks, but I do have the leftover parts of this board that I cut, so I guess we'll just try and use this. How am I going to cut this? Okay, try this again. Okay, these should work. Now hot glue these bad boys on. Now I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit. Okay, glue's all cooled. Glue our fork. Oh no, I got it on the wood. Okay, and then we're just gonna stick it on there. Oh, 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 oh! It's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself. Now we gotta wait for this to cool. Okay, let's see if this will work. Okay, now we're just gonna put this in here. It's perfect! You know, minus this giant gap on the side. Now let's go ahead and put this drawer away. Put this back in. Okay, it goes back in fine, it works. Okay, now we gotta put something in here to hide it. I'm gonna go ahead and put my one million subscribers in here. Whoa! Take a bunch of stuff and just put it in there. It's perfect! 
perfect. No one will ever find my subscribers in here. I'm gonna go ahead and say it works. Okay, I just wanna say for a good portion of this video, most of it is basic first aid. And then there's a whole like five minute part where it's nothing but random pressure point things. So I guess the only thing I can really do from here is uh, try the pressure points. Okay, so apparently right here is the body's most analogistic point. I don't know if that's doing anything. I don't really feel much different. <laughs> Let's try another one. Okay, so apparently this one is three fingers. And then this one right here. Is that helping my stomach? Oh my God, guys. I think it's helping my stomach. Actually, I feel kinda sick. I feel even more sick than I did before. Time for me to make a video saying I'm dying, so I Get that sweet sweet clickbait. So apparently this one's your foot right here. So one hand above and then it's right here. What the f helps with digestion and relieves lower back pain. I mean bending over like this is kind of hurting my back. So in a way it doesn't really work. Oh my god. I feel like an old man. Treat digestive disorder. Looks like I can't do that one. Rejuvenate internal organs. Uh, okay. So organs do you feel rejuvenated? I'm gonna call Tori and see if it works on her. Tori Nebransky! Come here. Here have a seat on my okay. on my lap. Am I gonna be scared? No you're not gonna be scared. Come here. Okay. Why would you be scared? I've never pulled pranks on you in the past. Never. So Tori, tell me about your internal organs. Which ones? I don't know. How do they feel? Do they feel fresh? Do they feel reju rejuvenated? Do you, do you want them to feel rejuvenated? I mean, I would love if they felt rejuvenated. Okay, come here. I'm just gonna... No, tell me what it is. I just last. need to it, it rejuvenate. It I'll show you the video really quick. Okay. We're not playing anything, Rob. <laughs> it rejuvenates. That's all it says. Rejuvenates internal organs. Are you rubbing my back? That's gonna rejuvenate your internal organs. Tori. Oh my god. That's what it's gonna do. So okay. I have to rejuvenate your internal organs. Tell me if this feels like it's rejuvenating your internal organs. Do they feel rejuvenated? I mean, it does feel nice. I know it feels nice. But does it feel rejuvenated? I don't know if I would say rejuvenated, but it feels nice. So does it work? Are your internal organs I mean, rejuvenated? There's really no way of uh, seeing if that worked, Rob. Can I cut you open and see? No. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I guess we don't know. Oh, this is what's gonna actually work. Okay, so this one looks pretty easy. We just get our drill, we get our zip ties. Just grab some of these bad boys. And just zip tie them on. Boop. The next one. There we go. Okay, let's see how this works. Ow! Okay, it doesn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Okay, after a while it really starts hurting actually. Then we snip the extra pieces off. Snip. Snip. I wonder if this one will hurt. Oh, that's not that's not too bad. Now we gotta get our paint. Open this bad boy up. Perfect. I really hope this doesn't get everywhere. Okay. Woo! Mix the paint! Wow! Yeah, I'd say that's properly mixed. The only problem with this is now I have paint all over my drill bit. <laughs> but I guess we can say it works! So for this one, I couldn't find any of those small candles, so I got this toothpaste lid thing. <laughs> it's pretty much the same shape and everything, and it fits in my shower, so it, it, it works. It's great. I'm just hoping it doesn't get melted by the hot glue gun. Okay, load our glue gun. In here. Get that out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so I just went over like that, and then another one like that. Just keep doing it like that. No, it clogged. And apparently we're supposed to just get it. put hot glue all around this thing. I'm really hoping that I can get the hot glue off of this when I'm done. Okay, let that chill for a sec. Okay, let's is this dried yet? Ah! Nope, not dry yet. I'm gonna give this another couple minutes. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, perfect. Will it come out of this thing now? Is it working? Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Oh no, I ripped it. D Darn it. I gotta stop swearing. Everyone keeps complaining that I'm swearing. I'm so sorry. No, I broke it again. Oh man. Man, I can't believe I broke this. I'm just gonna rip this off and maybe try. No. Uh, How could I mess this up? I messed it up. No! Can't believe I could mess it up like this. I'm the worst at crafts right now. I'm so sorry, guys. I thought I was a craft king, but now I'm nothing. I'm gonna try wrapping parchment paper around it, maybe? Yeah, maybe this will do something. I completely understand now why it had to be the metal candle thing. Otherwise, it would stick to it. Duh. Maybe that'll work? No. Uh, Got the tape. Ow! 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 All over my pants. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, fine. I just burned myself in the hot glue. Ow, oh, jeez. Well, how did it so much get on you? I don't even know. I hate doing these hot glue gun videos. It hurts me so much. You need to wear gloves. It hurts. Okay, oh, kiss this. Are you gonna kiss this for me? No, it's this hand. This hand hurts. Oh, so kiss that. It doesn't feel any better. What do I do? Well, next solution is to chop it off.
it off, Rob. My hand? But I use them for crap. Oh, shit, be safe. Okay, I'll try it one more time. Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad. Woo! Why are these crafts so mean to me? Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Where the heck are my scissors? Your scissors, where'd you go? Dude, can't find my freaking scissors. Okay, I'm gonna try this again uh, and cut it in the proper shape without tearing it. Maybe that'll help. Do it like this, wrap it around. Nope. Oh, my hands hurt so bad. Maybe if we put it over like this and then like that. Just shove all that in there. My gosh, my hands hurt. Maybe this time it'll work properly. Okay, so put it over and then all around. All around town. This doesn't look right at all. I think I might have to face it, boys. I don't think this one's gonna work without a candle. Okay, let's just let's just go ahead and do the next half. <laughs> You guys, but I feel like this one's a little dangerous. Let's get our pencils, our rubber bands, and I don't have a boba straw, but I have some zip ties, so that will have to do. Put all this off to the side really quick. I forgot to mention we also need one of these clips. Put these guys together. Oops, I was supposed to put the clip underneath there. Let's put another rubber band on top of it. Then we bind another two together. Boop, 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 boop. Get on there. Perfect. Well, not yet. I have to do the other side. <laughs> now it's perfect. Then I get this fat rubber band and bind them together. Oh, man. I hope I don't stab myself. Oh. Woo! I did it. They actually use two rubber bands to hold this one together. So I'm going to put another one on there just for safety. This is like something I would have built when I was a kid. I'm going to put the zip tie inside to make our little guide thing. Sip that off. Then I gotta make the other guy. I'm actually gonna hot glue this one on. Okay, we got our hot glue gun, and now I'm gonna try and hot glue this on. Do -do 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 -do. Does the pencil fit in that? Woo! It fits! I'm gonna try shoving it in between the pencils, too. Uh, now it's kinda off center. I guess like this. Yeah, sure, that works. I have a lot more extra than I thought I would. I'm actually gonna cut this off. Boop. Just glue that on there. Awesome, it looks great! Now I have to add the last rubber band. Put it right there. Go right there. One on the other side. Oh no, I've encountered a problem. Where am I supposed to? Oh, I don't even need this. I'm just gonna pull that off. I feel so smart right now. We're gonna try this again. Put that on there. Oh, it won't stay. Oh man, this is harder than it looks. I did it! Woo! I probably shouldn't wave this around. <laughs> okay, now let's try it. Okay, so I set up some monster cans over there for me to try and shoot. Let's see if I can hit them. Ready? One, two. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> No problem, I'm just gonna try it again. Put that in there. I should probably not have it facing me as I load it. This thing's kind of scary. Come on, this thing's so freaking hard to load. Okay, let's try this again. Woo! I got a can! You know, this is pretty cool and all, but I prefer my slingshot. I need to find something to shoot. <gasps> I have an idea. Okay, one, two, three. Load this guy up. How did I miss? It's a good thing I knocked out two. Woo! Oh, I didn't knock it down. How could you fail me? <laughs> God, I must look so crazy to you guys. So for this, we're gonna have to make a hole a little too big for my screw. Let's see, which one should I use? You look like you'd be a little too big for my screw. Oops, I drilled through to my table. <laughs> Is this too big for the screw? Oh, that's definitely way too big for the screw. It goes right through there. So now we're gonna grab our match. Put that right in there. Okay, so we put our match in, we put our screw, now we drill it in. I wonder if it'll work. Yeah, that seems pretty tight in there. Let's see if I can get this out using my pliers. I mean, let's try another match. You know what? Let's just fill all the hole with uh, these matches. That screw doesn't need any room. Go in there. Please don't light off while I'm screwing this in. Ready? And come on. Let's do this. Woo! Dude, that feels... So tight in there. <laughs> I was still able to pull it out. Although it wasn't in all the way, so I'm just gonna put all these back and then we're gonna try it again. Oh. I screwed it to my table. This poor table is just taking such a beating. Poor table, I'm so sorry. Ooh, I know what will make it better. There you go, table. I'm sorry I hurt you. 
Does kisses make it feel better? Anyway, let's get back to this. Yeah, that's looking like it's pretty in there. Now let's try the plier test. Dude, this is coming out so easily. Okay, um, I'm starting to think this doesn't actually work. I'm pretty sure that matches are made out of balsa wood, so they just break apart really easily. So it's not very good for structural things like this. I would recommend something like toothpicks over this, uh, just because toothpicks are meant to like hold up and stuff. Anyway, yeah, the, the match is not a good idea. Okay, here we go. So apparently I'm supposed to put hand cream on this, but all I have is this aloe vera lotion, so I, I guess we'll do with what we got. Oh boy, that looks weird. Yeah, you like that? Oh wait, I can put this on my burn. Oh my god, yes, that's that's amazing. This was this was a good idea. Let's hope it actually works for the craft, though. This is so odd. It's all slippery. No, I can't grab onto it. Get back here! Stop! Okay, we're good. Come back here, okay. Stay, stay. I feel like this is gonna pop the balloon with how hot it gets, but uh, I guess we'll try it. Okay, it's not popping so far. Oh, this is so scary. Just wait for this balloon to pop on me. I have to follow the design that they did. Yes, perfect. It looks great. Okay, my camera died, so uh, I, I, nothing has really changed much. It appears that this seems to be slipping off, though. There we go. Another one down. I'm trying really hard to make sure that this balloon doesn't pop and get all over me. Now I gotta wait for that to cool down a little bit. Although it's cooling really fast because of the it's on top of the balloon. So that's kind of handy. Hey there, don't roll over, don't roll over, please. I just need to reload my glue gun. Looking good. Everything around me is breaking. Even my computer is breaking. What am I doing wrong with my life? I have to finish the craft. I don't want to fail at a third one. I'm not this big of a loser, I swear. Do 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 do. Is that better? I mean, mine doesn't look as pretty as theirs, but I mean, at least it's something, okay? I'm trying. Now the light on this side burnt out. Everything's just going so horribly wrong. <sighs> okay, good thing I have an extra battery. Is this dry? I should really learn to not touch uh, hot glue to test to see if it's dry, because that's just such a stupid idea. Just make this like weird tulip shape. This is turning out pretty okay. I'd say this is a pretty good way to waste three sticks of hot glue. Oh boy, okay, okay. Almost done. Where'd my pillow go? Oh, my knees. Almost done. Now I have to try and get the balloon out. So I guess I'll just uh, pop it like, ah! Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I think I might have melted it to the balloon a little bit, so this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Oh, it's coming out. You can do it, balloon. I believe in you. You don't need that glue. You can get away from it. I believe. I believe in you, balloon. You're not codependent. Tori and me aren't codependent. Wait, are we? Tori! Tori, do you think we're codependent? I'm like, I'm so proud. We're not codependent, right? We're not codependent. Why are you here? We're not codependent. No, I don't trust you anymore. No, get away. <laughs> we're not codependent. Not codependent. Okay. Ugh. It's almost done. It does look like some of it melted to it, but uh, that's fine. Nothing is perfect. Get out of there. Come on. I believe it, dude. We're almost out. Yeah. Okay, so now we got ourselves an awesome glue egg thing. Let's suss it out. Okay, so we put my phone down with the flashlight on, and we put it on top, just like that. Now we gotta turn off all the light. Oh wow, it's working! It's all over the ceiling! If I move it, it'll do it. Wee! Oh, that's so cool. Wow! So I guess we can say it works! <laughs> Okay, now I got my phone, and I outline it. There we go. Move this for now. Oh yeah, I know I'm gonna be such a good spy after this. Oh no, I ripped it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use a real blade for this. I actually used to do this when I was a kid, and then my mom would be like, why did you cut open that book? Here we go, keep going. Hey Robbie, how you liking that book? Oh, it's pretty good. I haven't gotten through the first chapter yet. Get it, I'm cutting through the book, and I'm at the first chapter. <laughs> This is very sloppy. I, I think I could have done this a lot better. Okay, these pages are just so messed up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and rip them out. Oh, these ones are also messed up. Dude, I am just so good at being a spy. Uh, so basically, all my pages were messed up. 
Oh no. Okay, I guess we'll just uh, start from square one. Grab my phone. Now I gotta be really careful not to mess up the pages. Oh, I'm ripping it again. Ah! Okay. Okay, making some progress. That's a little bit better. So they used an X-Acto knife, so I'm gonna try using the same thing. Oh my god, that is a lot easier. Ugh. Cut that. Oh, this is taking forever. And I think we did it! Does it close? Woo! It's closed! Well guys, it looks like it works! I'm gonna take it one more step farther and glue the phone case in. So now I have a sick book phone case. Okay, now stick that in there. Ah! Ow! 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 Oh! The hot glue went through the little camera piece right here and I burned myself. Ouchies. Okay, there we go. Glue this there, glue this there. Okay, now let that dry. Okay, it's all dry. Now let's put our phone inside of it. Oh no, it's not fitting. Uh, oh no. Maybe I could use a screwdriver to get it in? Um, oh man, come on. You got this phone. Okay, getting it in. Come on. Woo! Oh, oh, I did it. Okay, now I got this awesome book phone case. Don't mind me, teacher. I'm just reading my Harry Potter book. Uh, I can't turn my phone on though. The power button's right there. Oh, I can't unlock my phone. The finger scanner's on the other side. Oh man, this thing still has some kinks I gotta work out. <laughs> So the first thing we need is a bowl! Yeah! And then we need some activated charcoal. Mine are in pill form, so I think this is gonna be a little bit of a pain. Boop, one down. Oh my god. It's getting everywhere. Three. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, come on, four. And let's do one more for good measure. Okay, we got four capsules. And then said that gelatin, uh, this was the only kind I could find, so I guess that'll do. Add a little bit of that. Yeah, I think that'll be enough. And then I'm gonna need some hot water. I'll be right back. And we're back with our hot water. Oh my gosh. Okay, that got everywhere. Mix this up. This is like boiling hot, so I hope it doesn't burn me. Did I add too much water? Maybe I have to add more of this stuff? Oh boy. I'm gonna check really quick to see if this looks right. Okay, it doesn't say it, but I think I'm supposed to let this sit for a second and let it like solidify. So I'm just gonna let it do that for a little bit. Okay, I'm actually gonna add a little bit more gelatin to make this a little bit more uh, solid. Oh my gosh. I think that's a lot better. It smells so nice. Wow. I think just to even it out, I'm gonna add some more charcoal as well. Pop! Oh, man. Woo! So much charcoal! Okay, mix that in. Oh my god, I got it everywhere. My gosh, that is so thick. That's perfect. I kind of want to eat this stuff. It looks kind of yummy. It kind of looks like pudding a little bit. Can we get all this back in here? Man, I made such a mess of my desk. Okay, let's put some of this stuff on my face. Okay, guys, let's hope this doesn't mess my face up. Scoop some of that up. And we're just gonna put it on my face like that. Oh, man. Woo! I mean, it smells pretty good. Wow! I'm gonna make sure it doesn't get in my hair. My pores are so clogged, like, all the time. Like, my nose looks like a little strawberry when I'm not wearing makeup. Oh, my goodness. This stuff smells so good. I mean, it's mostly sugar, so I bet I'm gonna break out so bad after this. Or maybe it'll clear my skin up. I don't know. Get all that on there. It's all Tori didn't want any. Okay, I guess I'll save some of it for her for later. Now I gotta wait for this to dry. Okay, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's see if this is dry. Oh boy. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna come off? Uh, it doesn't seem to be wanting to come off like it did in the video. Come on. Hmm. Tastes pretty good. Very little sour though. Okay, you can do it, Mask. It doesn't want to peel off like it did in the video. <laughs> Oh man, come on. What did I do wrong? Is it because I used the wrong kind of gelatin? I don't know. It doesn't really peel off like it did in the video though. So I'm gonna say this doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so I just took it off and I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it kind of dyed my nose red a little bit. <laughs> well, time to go put on more makeup. This looks like a simple hack. Let's see if it works. So we got our phone, we grab our battery, Wow, it's actually working. This isn't like the best stylus ever. Oh, now it's not really working. Maybe the negative side? Oh, it works with the negative side too. Oh, what did I just open? Okay, let's try and use a keyboard. It's not working. So just for fun, we're gonna try a whole mess of different batteries. First one, this is for my GoPro. 
Nope, that doesn't work. This is for my old T3i camera. No cigar. This is for the very first camera I ever had. No. Nope. Here's another camera battery. No. Nope. Now maybe a nine volt. Okay, I kind of thought that this one would work. It looks like I'm scratching up my screen. Oh, my screen turned off. Come on, nine volt. I believe in you. Well, it looks like it didn't work. Last but not least, my drill battery. Nope, this one definitely didn't work. I probably shouldn't have thrown that. So conveniently enough, I actually have a power strip I need to hang underneath my desk, so. <laughs> the lipstick I stole from Tori. Apparently I just go boop, 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 boop. I hope I didn't mess that up too bad. Then we get our piece of paper and just, they work. Okay, so I guess it's in between these two holes. I think I should have done this a little better. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, so it's in between this one, this one. Let's do here, here, and here. Okay, let's try this again. Oh man, that's even worse. Okay, I'm just gonna start from square one. <laughs> How about I just do it around the hole? I think that's a good idea too. Okay, maybe it'll work this time. Ready? One, two, and... Woo! Now I'm gonna cut it. Now let's drill some holes! Okay, so I want it about right here. I'm just gonna... Oop, I dropped my screw. I hope this looks okay. I hope you guys can see stuff because I, I can't see what I'm recording. So we're just gonna... Oh my gosh, I can't see anything. <laughs> Okay, one. Now I'm gonna do it left-handed. Let's hope I don't screw myself. <laughs> okay, come on, stay up. Oh, no. You can do it. Oh, no. Oh, maybe if I just, like, pounded it. They should make a drill slash hammer. It just needs to be pounded a little bit first. Oh, maybe a little bit out. Okay, and we gotta take this off. You gotta tear the apart, Grab our thing. Come on. Oh, I don't think it measured right. No. I am so good at this. Does it even align? They aren't even in the same spot. Oh, this cord's in the way. Oops. We're gonna try this again. Oh, that's the wrong way. I'm sorry, piece of paper that I already ripped up. We're gonna try this again. This is awful. Okay, I need tape. So I put it right there before, so I'm gonna put a little bit more over. Maybe I should make sure that it actually fits here first. That should uh, that should be fine. Got the screws in. Oh, dropped it again. I need a life hack to make screws stay in the same place. Maybe I could use my pliers, like from that one hack. Uh, okay, just uh, do that. This is just a very awkward position I'm in. That's the wrong way again. Oh. Well, I know now that I fit underneath my desk. Where's my other screw go? Oh. Things going right, boy. I'm back with another screw. Oh, it was up there the whole time. I feel so dumb right now. Okay, so screw this in. Dude, fitting in small spaces is awful. Okay. One down, one to go. Oh. oh. We're gonna try this one more time. Please fit. Oh my gosh. It actually worked. Woo! It worked! So spoons, huh? You guys know how much I love spoons. But you know what I love even more than spoons? Forks. Okay, so we're gonna get our spoon and we're gonna put it right there. Now we're just gonna cover it all in glue. Woo! Easy peasy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my glue gun is jamming. What's happening? Oh, it's getting backed up. No, it's coming out of here. No, oh, I messed up my glue gun. Everything was going so well. It's not even coming out anymore. Ugh, I just gotta push. Oh no, now the chopstick is stuck. Oh, oh, uh. Okay, oh, just gotta clear that off, baby. Nothing can ever be simple in these videos, can it? Okay, put another hot glue stick in there. Okay, it's coming out again. There we go. Just put a bunch of hot glue all over it. Maybe I should use the hot glue gun to kind of flatten it. Yeah, that kind of, that's, that's, that's working. Oh, come on, get out of there. I love it when my glue gun jams. It's my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let that cool. Okay, it looks all dry, let's uh, Let's try this baby. Uh, I gotta peel it off first, actually. That's a whole different challenge. You can do it. Uh, this is so stuck on there. Uh, I should have put something on the spoon so it didn't stick. No, I ripped it. What am I supposed to do? This really stuck on the spoon. Uh, 
Ooh, come on. I believe in you, glue spoon. Come on, just. Uh. Maybe I'll just peel all the extra parts off first. Yeah, I'm totally doing this on purpose. Okay, almost. You can do it. You almost got the spoon. I almost got it off. Maybe if I heat up the spoon. Okay, I'm just gonna hold my glue gun to this, and maybe it'll melt the hot glue on the other side. Is it working? Nope, it's uh, it's a nice theory though. <sighs> Did that work? Ooh, it's coming off, it's coming off. Ooh, come on, it's almost off. You can do it. Please don't rip, please don't rip, please don't rip. And, oh, woo, we're in the clear. Okay, I just wanna say, this is a very flimsy spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the access so it actually looks a little more uh, spoon-like. Yeah, that looks a lot more like a spoon. Well, kinda more like a sport because it has points in it, but that it's, it's fine. I'm not judging you, spoon. Well, maybe a little bit because you're super flat. Okay, time for us to test it out. Okay, we got our bowl, got our frosted flakes. They're even called frosted flakes. I wonder how they got away with that. Get some milk in there. Oh, great. This is gonna make for a healthy breakfast. I mean, it is 1.30 in the morning. Okay, so first we're gonna use our normal spoon. With the exception of eating hot glue. It works great. I'm gonna go ahead and get over here so you guys can see me. There we go. Get out of here, milk. Uh, you know, regular spoon, you work great. Thank you very much for your services. Now it's time for our glue spoon. Okay, ready for this, guys? You can do it. Okay, oh, it grabbed onto some. <coughs> Sorry, I choked on some glue. Wow! This is working great. Ugh. Yeah, come on. Woo! I can't believe it's actually kind of working. I mean, the handle is uh, like bending in half. But you know, it still works. This is great. I love cereal. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it works. <laughs> okay, easy peasy. We got our juicy fruit. Gotta use what they use in the video. Cut all that off. We only need one. Okay, uh, yeah, we don't need this. Let me get our money. I'm not rich enough for a $100 bill, so I'm just gonna use this $10 bill. So then we just, uh, fold it like that. Keep folding. Folding, folding, folding. It's going in perfectly. Aha! Okay, and it looks like it works! I'm just imagining if someone's like, hey, can I have a piece of gum? And then they grab the $100 bill, and you're like, oh! I'm just not really sure how I feel about this one. I wouldn't personally do it, but if it's for singy people who don't share their gum, it's perfect. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is shave my armpits. Oh boy, here we go! Oh, oh that feels so weird! For this, I think I'm only gonna do one armpit. I have some thick hair under there! Oh, yeah. Ooh. Eh, well, I'm at it. I might as well shave my nipples. I have such hairy nipples. <laughs> Fun fact, one time I cut off this nipple. I don't really want to get into it. Okay, it looks like we're all good. Let's test this out. Okay, now it's time to make the weird mixture thing. So it says the first thing we need is sea salt. Put some of that in there. Then some baking soda. And then some hot water. And then finally some vinegar. I hate the smell of this stuff. Ugh, I'm only gonna add a little bit. Ugh, oh man, this smells so bad. I'm not looking forward to putting this underneath my armpits. Can we mix it up? I'm gonna add some more sea salt and baking soda to get rid of the smell of the vinegar. Yeah! This also looks more like the consistency of the stuff that they made. Mix, mix, mix! Okay, this looks good. Okay, now time to test this out! I am not looking forward to this. So maybe if I just scoop it up. Oh! This is so gross and it burns! Ow, why is it burn? Oh, I think I actually have to use my hands for this. This is gonna be awful. Eh. Oh, okay, okay. Man, this is so gross. I really hope you guys appreciate this. I think it would probably help if I already had like dark circle things on my armpits. I don't even know what that is. Is it working? So we just keep smashing that into my armpit like that. And then when we're done, we just kind of wipe it off. Ah! It hurts so bad. I think I gave myself razor burn. Uh, okay, so I feel like this did nothing. <laughs> uh, I hate the smell of vinegar so much. So I guess we'll say this works. I don't really know. <laughs> Okay, but like, this is totally from a South Park episode, right? Anyway, we got our box. We got our box cutter. We cut these off. Don't need that. Don't need that one. There we go. Now we have to trace my phone. Like that. Yeah. Maybe I should cut it a little bit smaller so that just the screen pops in. 
We gotta cut a hole for our neck. So I'm thinking something like, something like that. There we go. Okay. Now let's try this out. I'm gonna play some videos. Let's look up what a buy. Yeah, that should that should do it. This is a good one. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Robbie. Okay, let's see if it works. Let me just uh. I'm actually gonna tape my phone to the box so it doesn't move. There we go. Okay, Robbie, shut up. I'm trying to. I, I need to. I need to watch this. Okay. So now we're just gonna put this over here and then. The audio is a little bit quiet. Your poor hair. I can tell you now that in this video- It works! Paint tray, use a Pringles can. Or if you're like me, uh, some off-brand Pringles. <laughs> there we go. I'm just gonna pour our paint in there. That should be enough. Let's lock our roller. Just dip it in. Is it working? Maybe if I do this, it'll help. Oh no, it's getting on me. I mean, maybe eventually it'll cover the whole brush. I don't think it's very effective if you're gonna do it like evenly. It definitely doesn't go on the brush very evenly. Oh, yeah, I don't really like that. Maybe I have to kind of whoosh it around a little bit and it'll go on more evenly. It just doesn't, no, it's all trapped at the bottom. Maybe do this. I feel like this is a bigger mess than like a paint tray. It's still like all concentrated at the bottom. This would not be very effective for painting, but I guess we'll try it. Whew. Almost dropped that on me. Take that out. I mean, it's not doing a bad job. I wouldn't say this is bad. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Uh, sure, I, I guess I'll say this works. <laughs> We get our parchment paper. Perfect. And we gotta draw those L shapes. Yeah, that looks perfect. Now I'm gonna do the outline. Here we go. Woo! Easy peasy. Yeah, that looks perfect. Now I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, it's all dry. Oh, I'm gonna turn on the light. That is so much better. Okay, next one. Easy peasy. It's a good thing I have the stencil, so they'll always be the same. Okay, let this one dry. Okay, that one's all dry. Next one. Okay, two more. Glue, glue, glue the thing. Glue it all together. Merrily, 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 merrily. Uh, what the heck rhymes with together? Okay, now we wait for this one to dry. Okay, are we dry? Oh no, not dry, not dry. Okay, now we're dry. Oh no, it's still not dry, it's still not dry. Okay, I'm gonna actually wait a, a second. No clappy trick thing this time. Just kidding. Okay, it should be dry now. Yep, it looks pretty dry. Over there with your brothers. One more. Thank God. Dude, this is not a five minute craft. I just waited an hour for glue to dry. I should have just done them all at the same time. I'm so dumb. Well, past is the past. I realize it now. Okay, now we gotta let this one dry. Okay, so we're just gonna put glue between these bad boys. We're just making a glue sandwich using glue, with glue. I'm gonna take a big old bite out of this. I bet it tastes, ah! Freaking delicious. It's painful. Oh, I'm gonna wait till it cools down first. This whole video is just gonna be me waiting for it to cool down. Just like every other glue video. Okay, this one, another glue sandwich, and boom. Okay, you're gonna stick together and you're gonna like it. That's what my parents told me and that's what I'm telling you. Wait for these to dry. Okay, now I need to glue these together. Yeah. Just like that. Now I gotta hold it until it dries. No, okay. Put it in there. Yeah, that ought to do it. Oh, now just gonna wait for this to dry. Or should I hold it like that? I should just hold it. I'm just gonna hold it. I'm gonna commit. I'm committing to something in my life. Woo! Okay, we're gonna pretend that this is cooled down. I feel like I need to flatten the bottom. So I'm gonna take these scissors and just cut it. Yeah, there we go. That should level it out. Perfect, it sits perfect. Maybe clean these up a little bit too. The beauty of hot glue is that you can cut it with scissors. Well, I mean sometimes. Oh, okay, yep, looks uh, exactly how the one in the video does. Where's my phone? So here it is, here's my phone. Does it hold it? I mean barely, but yes. I noticed that they were playing their video for this, so I'm gonna do the same and get my own self promo. Five minute crap. Wait, stop, no, I'm trying to not give them promotion. Well guys, I guess it worked. Okay, so here's our test wood, here are our pliers, and here's our nail. Now we're just gonna try the first one out. I wonder if this one will work. Wow, it works! 
Okay, next one. So I don't have any full-size clothespins, but I have these mini ones. I guess they'll have to do. Mini clothespin for mini nails. Get out of here, little clothespins. Okay, clip it right in there. Okay. I wonder if this one will work. One, two. Whoa, that was scary. I feel like this would be a lot safer if I had a full-size clothespin. Regardless, it still works! Woo! Now I have so many little clothespins everywhere. Fun fact, Tori clamped one of these on my nipples and it hurt really bad. Okay guys, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Look some of this one right down there. If you like this video and you want to watch more, I have a whole playlist dedicated to me doing a bunch of stuff from 5 Minute Craft. You can click right here or down the description down below. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want the shirt, some stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here or down the description down below. Okay guys, I love you so much and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward endings. Okay, bye. I'm Merry Craft.